Rip. I need to work on Rip that. ears. <laughs> I like that you're wearing branded merch. That's yeah. good. Perhaps nice. Blue Circle. <laughs> Miss Indiana, how are things going? She's gone, I think, now. <laughs> she probably posted that like 10 minutes ago. Okay, I'm going to go back to really? my cake. Bye, Lisa. You eat cake. Who said you eat cake? Nobody. I don't really know. All right, here we go. We're beginning the scenario. Oh, Deanna says, hey, Lisa, don't go <laughs> Oh, shh. Please contact Tetsuo Mori. The files he sent you were scattered over your desk along with a smack of the press. Be good. Shh. A young couple, an entire family. Only one thing connects the missing person's cases officer who has been investigating. Silverwood Manor. Each of the victims stayed within the manor house shortly before their disappearance. Officer Mori is now convinced that this house must hold the key to the investigation. You leave the files behind and head towards Silverwood Manor to meet him. The tarnished gate is manned by a beleaguered groundskeeper. In response to your inquiries, the old man sets you on a twisting path that leads to the main house. You hope that some evidence remains in the abandoned rooms and that they will bear some fruit. Finding the front door ajar, you see that Officer Mori must already be awaiting you inside. <laughs> Priorities. <laughs> we stopped we stopped listening to this mission thing. Yeah, that's not important. I'm gonna replay this because I did I missed it. So let's do it again. Here we go. Boom. It was the greatest fear in all the Prost! Best Cup of Joe, thank you for the follow. We're playing the audio for it. We don't get to hear it because we're not cool enough with our, with our speakers, but we got it for from Best Cup of Joe. Who could that be? Who knows? Some stranger on the internet. <laughs> All right, here we go. Okay, let's get these tiles back out. I put them somewhere that's not like just in the middle of the table. I'm gonna hide this. I don't think we need it actually for a second. Oh, this is like the same place, guys. Nice. Bro, we already know where, where we're going. I'll give you these ones. Um, I'll just keep these right here. I think the bottom is good. Here, I'm gonna give you the bottom or something. Sure. You want these two? Yeah, yeah just take the big ones back. Okay. And they're gonna have this symbol on. Uh, no, they might be different this time. Uh, oh no, this one's tentacle. It's called the lobby, yep. And then we got two walls, so I'm gonna up on those. That takes four to, uh, to find more room to add the Oh, nice. Okay, so we have this room blocked. Like an elder's just gonna like follow you around fighting monsters whenever you come across that. Because when I've been like looking for evidence a lot. Alright. We step inside the manor as the yeah. as it's dad, um, Sarah's boyfriend. Oh. I thought you had a real like legitimate. No. <laughs> <laughs> we step inside the manor as the wind grows cold. Place your investigator oh. figures as indicated. Boom. Alright, you see a side table in the entry hall. Tilt precariously spilling debris over the floor. However, when you blink, the hallucination passes and the table stands upright. There's a search token here on the table. That sounds. Wait, we hallucinated something? Yeah, we all hallucinated. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna go look at the hallucination? Yeah. Okay. A mirrored sideboard stands in the lobby with one drawer hanging open. So there's a search token on this drawer. And then there are several explore tokens. Do you want to separate these for me real quick before you pop up these out? So, um, if you have a game like Minecraft, mm -hmm. for me, I think it's just like Chris, do you. I got it, I got it, I got to practice. You got to right. practice, right? <laughs> when you have Amazon Prime, you can subscribe to one Twitch channel a month for free because you can link the two accounts together, so that can send me money. Oh, good. 
He's assuming you don't get really into Twitch and find someone else you want to patronize. So you can you can choose one of you can subscribe to like however many channels, but you're patronizing one of them. You're like the, the well, so thing. okay, so there, you can follow whoever you want for free, yeah. and you can subscribe to whoever you want for free, but it costs five dollars a month. Uh, but with Twitch Prime, uh, okay, you can sure. do that for free. Cool. For one person. All right, here we go. We lift the paper, noting that it is a page from a personal journal. Nothing is as it seems at first. The manor will try to stop me. I know, and I could become trapped here forever. Still, I must find the keys. I know there must be four, though I cannot know how I know. It has to do with that locked door, and I must open that door to expel the evil inside the manor before I am lost. Opening the four keys. We decide to keep the page safe and return it to Officer Mori, and we find him. An investigator gains the old journal unique icon or item. If you want to find that, you get a good order. The old journal allows investigators to review the gathered journal entries by interacting with it and in the app. As the investigation progresses and you gather more information, the old journal will continue to record your findings. So, can I like lose the journal? Like, what's the point of it actually being a card? I don't know. I mean, you might be able to. That would suck. A vision of Officer Mori ripping pages from their binding fills your mind and you feel inexplicably connected to Officer Mori, but also strangely to the manor. Place a key token on the old journal unique icon. An item with a key token cannot be discarded. So yes, you can. Just, yeah. <coughs> just, we can't. Alright. It's never been a problem before. As you contemplate why you feel a connection to a place you were visiting for the first time, the door behind you slams shut and wooden panels grow over the hand of the ceiling inside. So place a wall and a search token. Is there two walls? Uh, yeah, I think there's double sides. Yeah, I got one. Alright, we need to find Officer Mori's token. He's a uh, blue ring. Officer Mori enters the. It's, his name starts with a T. Too, so. All right, so he's right here. How are these? Are these organized in a specific way? So I just put them up into like these name characters, and these are the generic ones. Okay. But past that, no. All right. Officer Mori enters the hall through the door to your right, looking disheveled and confused. When he sees you, he nods absently, saying, "Ah, good. We can continue this investigation together. I have been looking for you." This person token is indicated. This is Officer Tetsuo Mori. Right, now it is time to begin our actions. Oh, so much to do. Right. Yeah. Um. I mean, we're gonna need to find some keys. I guess someone should talk to Officer Mori. Is he in the same space? Yeah, he's in the same space as us. Right. I'll go talk to Officer Mori. Because you're had so, so success in the past with the law. Yeah. <laughs> in fact, because it wasn't an Me and Detective Blake got a lot of great last time. Where we developed this like grudge against Detective Blake <laughs> last time, and it like ruined our It literally led us to lose the game. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> because we were very confident in where we were supposed to like. Extremely confident. You're supposed to at one point in the game, you're supposed to follow the person who you think is like the bad guy. Mm. And Worby was so hung yeah. up. There were two. There were two. And we knew. We knew 100% who one of them was. And the second one, we were like, well, it could be this guy. And Worby's like, yeah. And we followed him. not how I remember this guy. <laughs> we we kind of had to, though. With yeah. Worby's grudge against this guy. I mean, Detective Blake was obviously the worst. <laughs> so that's where we followed him. But <laughs> hey, y'all, we have a new viewer named Sarah. We had to figure out which username she is. Hey, Sarah. How's it going? Is it, it's not Sarah Bear. <laughs> <laughs> She's not here. Where is Sarah Bear, Big Daddy? Are you watching together? I know that's a thing you do, apparently. He had it. On, he had my our stream. He had the board game stream on last week, on his TV with like four people in his room. <laughs> Are you doing that again? Because that's what professionals do. All right, so you're you're going. I'm gonna go talk to Officer Mori. All right, wherever you got this. So you ready? Officer Mori is distracted, patting his pockets <laughs> for some lost object. You can nice. ask about the investigation, or we found your journal. Let's go with the we found your journal. Trying to be helpful. Oh, this is his Yeah. Know. Officer Mori pushes away the page you offer him. This cannot be mine. I have not written in journal in my journal here in the manor. You can point out his signature or drop the issue. 
What do you think? Point out a signature. signature. Alright, let's go for it. I'm gonna be confrontational. <laughs> Officer Mori examines his own handwriting. But I've only been here. Before he tells you how long he's been investigating Civil War Manor, Officer Mori shakes his head. No, I never wrote this. Was it found here in the manor? So, we screwed up kind of cheap last time. But second action, if you want to keep talking, is yes about the front door or how long have you been in the manor? Or you can cancel it. Well, he asked you a question. I feel like you can answer the question. Or you can cancel. You can just walk away. I'll do <laughs> yes by the front door. <laughs> <laughs> oh, next to the mess. It must be a mistake. Officer Mori nods to himself. Now we should cease discussion and <laughs> continue with the investigation. It must be a mistake. I think I remember something about the balcony. Game one clue. All right. Got my clue. Yeah, you got to keep them going, dude. You had so many last time. My handwriting and signature in a journal. It must be a mistake. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wait, he keeps going. Officer Mori returns to searching his pockets. He tells you there's a locked door somewhere in this manor, and I must get back there. However, I seem to have forgotten how to get there. So he mentioned the balcony. Hopefully, that is important. No idea. I mean, either, but we're going to go there. It's like up the stairs, though. Right? Okay. Um, okay, I'll go next. I will. Did, did, I saved the door for last. Or should I walk and do that on the end right there? What is that thing over there? This one? Yeah. This is no, no, it's back over there. Oh. Um, this was a desk or something with like some. It was a drawer. I think I can just touch A mirrored sideboard has one drawer half open. Okay. Alright. My thing is that I'm going to the door. Um, but what thing is that going to be helpful? Um, I'm gonna go look at the thingy in the middle. Okay. Is that the same space as this, right? Yep. Alright, though you're certain you saw the table in the front room fall, it is now upright with its face dead of dead flowers uh, intact. So search. You knock the table o you knock over the table while examining it closer, <laughs> clumsily spilling <laughs> debris on the floor. You realize that the pattern of the mess is exactly as you saw it entering the manor, gain one of the two. So it's like we can see ahead of time. Premonition. I wonder if that means, like, so we have this journal from this guy who hasn't lost he it He hasn't yet. used it yet, and he's about to write it, and then we're about to find it in the past. We're so playing, so what we're doing is we're playing Tragedy Looper mm -hmm. right now <laughs> in this game. Perfect. You got yeah. you got a clue, right? Yeah. You got it? It's yeah. like all the high school kids yeah. make suicide or something. I keep on trying to get us to play oh. the game, when you look up from the mess, there is a door at the top of the hall that you did not notice before, so we can get rid of this token here. And now there's a explore token up here. Many five people and many uh, crystal lot of doors. Rules. Yeah. Discard the wall in the lobby. Alright. So that was only one action. Okay. Um, should I do the front door or should I do one of the explore tokens in that same space? I don't think the front door is going to have anything, but mm -hmm. you can search it because I can do the explorers. Mm -hmm. I might just do both and just not even bother going in. I am. Well, I don't know. We've got a lot of doors. I guess I don't know if we're going to have uh, the same time person we had last time. Yeah. Um, so we might have more time to look through them all, but yeah, I would feel like we should start going through the doors. Fine, I'll just do this one. All right. Yeah. The door is labeled with a plaque that reads office. You press open the door to find a tidy office, dimly lit, discard this explore token, and place the office tile as... Okay. What the same thing that we had. It looks very similar, actually. This is where that lady was. Uh, the argument? Yeah, the argument was. Where we, that part you had the option to, to listen, or to like knock on the door, or to walk in, and Werby <laughs> was monitoring Jack, so he kicked in the door. <laughs> And then politely asked them how they were doing. Yeah. And then later he, he broke into the same woman's house and she was standing right there when he got it. <laughs> you know what? I bet that's how we were supposed to know that they were together. Because they were arguing. Yeah, together. I was thinking we should have paid more attention to what they Thank said. You. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sure we missed a ton of stuff. Mm -hmm. But, you know, this one right. even harder. Behind you, Officer Mori jumps as if an unheard command. He 
calls to you. Yes, exploring the manor could uncover many answers. Officer Mori dashes away from you through another door and he's gone. Okay. Hopefully we got everything we were supposed to from him. All right, you spot a book with a cracked leather binding on a chair, place a tome of horrors common item right here on the floor. So this says, this is the equipment. When you suffer one or more horror while resolving a horror check, you can gain one clue. This is in the room. On the floor of the room, a single sheet of paper has been abandoned. Let's put a search token over there. Okay, you can move one space into the room. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that might be important. That might be like another journal entry. I'm curious to check it out. All right, go ahead and put me in there. Okay. Just put this, this one you right? Yeah. All right, so I'll go ahead and search the other way then. Okay. The door has a well worn knob. <laughs> you open the door to find a ramshackle dining room. So this one's different. Now the mansion has officially been been modified. Okay, uh, discard this before so I can find a dining room. This one's got like a claw hand. Because this one, this mission is from an expansion, so that's why we got different stuff. We got an uncreative one, Naisu. Mm -hmm. Uncreative one. Did you hit that? Follow button <laughs> at the top of the screen. Yeah. Officer Mori paces around the dining room table. He calls over to you. Finally, come help me with this. All right, a circle of skulls and candles has been arranged on the dining room table. There's a searcher token, token here. And there's an explore token up here. To one side of the room is a swinging door covered in food stains. And there's another one. In one corner of the dining room is a door with pale scratches down its length. That sounds fun. I'm going there. Power from far beyond grips your will. Move one space into the explored area. I have to move there. All right, so that was one action for me. I guess for my second, I'll just do this explore real quick and just knock it out. All right, this door is made of split timber. The door creaks open to reveal a drafty bell tower. Discard this explore token and place the bell tower as indicated. This one's got the tentacle. Then place a darkness token in the bell tower. Then. I think all of them. Right, yeah. So I don't know if Sarah's still watching, but I um, just want to say, Sarah, that I'm a big fan of your work on the Atlanta United, um, what do you call it, spirit team or fan club. <laughs> Been hearing about your exploits from Leslie. I got it. You sound great. I'm a big fan of class warfare, so way to go. You're going to uh, basketball this weekend. Next to the door, a light has been left guttering. Has been left guttering in a wall mount. Place a search token. The iron bell has a crack through its lip where a meat cleaver has been wedged. Oh. Give me that. Okay, so I'm going to move the one space into the room. Alright, I'm done. So that's everyone, right? Mm -hmm. Is that the first? Yeah, that's the first round. Yeah. I probably should not have gotten there thinking about it, but oh well. <laughs> you stride around in a corner of the manor, but suddenly you your face meets solid force. There's only a wall in front of you when you regain your senses, and your nose is tender from the collision. Everyone suffers two face down damage agility negates. Thanks. That was too agility. Nice. Yes. <laughs> wow. I'm gonna 
whip. I can't even use my clues. Thanks, you guys. Okay, goodbye. That's the best number one. That's All right, that's it. I'm gonna eat this cake though. Is that from Trader Joe's? Yeah. That's good. All right, so do you think I should explore this drawer thing? There's so much stuff to do. Yeah. But yeah, I think you could go that way. All right, so I'll move, or I have to move, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'll move here and I'll explore this. Okay. Yeah, I'll move here and I'll explore this. Okay. Yeah, I'll move here and I'll explore this. <laughs> <laughs> a mirrored sideboard has one drawer half open. A single sheet of paper rests in the open drawer. It is another journal entry. The writing has become clear at last, and it speaks of a way out of this cursed place. The door and threshold beyond you um the uh, the door and the threshold beyond are one. I could summon my own escape. Yag Sothoth is the gate and the guardian. He's in the manor now, and he has been summoned here before. I'm afraid, if I make this choice, I will either have my answer or become truly trapped. Gain one clue and try to search. You can now review that journal entry in the old journal. So apparently this has been trapped in here for a while. Somebody said that brownie looks good. It's delicious. Oh my god. <laughs> Some of that chocolate. <laughs> yep. Big Daddy, I got your peach right here. <laughs> Feed it to the camera. Yeah, here, here you go. Here you go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, is picking this up an action? Mm -hmm. I think so. Let me, let me verify though. Move, search, explore, interact, action, or attack, and trade. I thought it said action, action. I was like, there are some free actions, so. Dude, you don't even have to. Just drive to Trader Joe's. It's closer than my house. Then you can have two of them. Are they in the frozen section? Yeah. Although they might be closed, so don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> You'll get there and be very disappointed. <laughs> I thought there was like a thing that listed the action. I feel like we're supposed to be getting more of some of these things. Did we play something else recently? I was just like texting to the journals. Oh, getting more value. Yeah. I feel like I'm just, I don't know, going over my head. What did that one say? Something about you being here. Oh, now we know Yig is here. Yog. Yog. Yog is here. <laughs> Yog's your thought. Didn't mean to offend him like that. Yig. Yig is. Which one was he in Eldritch? Was he the poison one? I remember him being like a, uh, a little flying thing. I must have like recently read another rule book or something because I distinctly remember saying like saying you take so many actions but do as some free actions and they're like listed, but I cannot remember what it was. Is that what it, maybe that's what it was? But okay. I'm gonna go over here and interact with that. Okay. A piece of paper sits on the floor forgotten. You look the paper and it crackles with extreme age. I have found the locked door many times now. I cannot be sure it is always the same one because the manor shifts so often. But I will find out what is on the other side. Okay, the what again? The locked door, the locked door. The manor cannot beat me because I will uncover its every secret and escape. Not like the others who let the manor trap them here forever. I will find the answer, I swear it, gain one clue. So is this what Officer Mori is writing? Yes. In the future. Okay. Or... Or it's kind of circle. Yeah. Something like that. Tragedy I, you know what, I'm happy to know that this isn't going to be like we're going to leave here and 
explore three different parts of town mm. again. That sounds like it's going to be mostly. I'm happy that we're trapped in this mansion. <laughs> okay, so that was your two, right? Um, well, I could move. It was the greatest fear so in the world. Well, you moved in search. I used blood and loot, so I can. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You can do a second. Yep. Let me. I'm going to try to see if this on here real quick. You already saw her. Which one? I'm going to pop that. Let me check. No, it's not too late. <laughs> ah! Two of them. Senseless Logic and Reverend Sinatra. Thanks for the follows, guys. I worked really hard to earn those two yesterday, so I promise to drop a couple more dudes down the well later, alright? To do what? We were playing Overwatch yesterday. <laughs> it's, uh, it's some of Alex's friends, and we were playing in... I was like, hey, you guys need to go follow me on Twitch if I go grab one of these guys and drop them down the well. <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> and Alex was just like, they're just going to probably follow you at some point anyway. I was like, well, I want to earn it. <laughs> <laughs> I dropped two down the well, but I got dropped down the well, so it canceled that one out. So I, only, I got the one. I got the one. It seemed too easy. Dude, I clipped it. I clipped the really good one on there. What am I looking for? Is this? I'm looking to see if this. It's your turn now. If I got a GoPro, could I live stream my part? <laughs> <laughs> you no, know, you'd have to do it through Twitch and stuff. But you can upload stuff through Twitch if you really wanted to. So yeah, wait, I you guess can't you connect, connect a GoPro to Twitch? Twitch? I mean, I'm not. I mean, if you have like, okay, so like, it'd be difficult to live stream it, but you could record it and then. Upload it somewhere. I could upload. I could live stream myself watching their. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> there you go. Wait, okay, okay, here we go. Like... Trade action. The investigator may give any common number of common items, unique items, or spells to each other. Each other has to investigate in the space. And allow those. Additionally, you can pick up or drop any number of the common items in, in the space. So it's that's part of the trade action. Okay. So, so it is an action. All right. So that's good. So you're finished. You're done, too? Or no? I believe so. Okay. I can move again, maybe, but I don't know if I want to. All right, well, I'm going here and doing this one at the bell. Or actually, hold on. Can I move again? Yeah, you could. You I can move in second space. I move up to here. That's you already in that same space. Well, never mind. I'm just <laughs> you're sliding your character over there. Were these, like, different explore puzzles? Were they um, characterized differently? Okay. No, not in the one we first started. This one is... This was the one that was a wall, and then we did something oh, that is... That's a very exciting one, yeah. Yeah. You like the table? Thank you. I actually uh, built this table with my wife's dad, um, so it's homemade. It's awesome. A meat cleaver has been wedged into the cold iron of the bell. I struggle to wrench the thick blade from the rest, from its rest. All right, here we go. Strength test. Okay. <laughs> Total whiff. You should. I can't. Darkness. No, no. You can't use clues. Okay. Alright, so nothing happens. I'm, just, I'm done. Okay. I'll get it next turn. Don't worry. Get this. Peavy. Peavy. I invited her. It's okay. Peavy. I wonder if this meat cleaner is going to do such a junker. She could jump so high. That would be so dumb. They have to build the new Alright, here we go. Back. Mythos phase. A single beam of light breaks through the clouds, but it's quickly choked out. No immediate effect. Nice. All right, I'm gonna go first. So I'm, I'm doing this again. All right, you got it this time. I get to try it twice this time. I think it's easy. You had a job to be a dog detective. Two. That's two. Or good. a lawyer dog. <laughs> the cleaver springs free, and it feels familiar in your hand, like an old friend. Gain the meat cleaver common item. The cleaver is your old friend. Yeah. Oh, as soon as I as I part the blade from the bell, an ominous tolling fills the air through the bell. It remains so soft for three horror. What? <laughs> Will negate. You pulled the wow. cleaver out of a bell, and it made a noise, and, and you're horrified. Deeply, deeply horrified. Still dark, right? You only got two horror, right? Don't oh, worry. God. I can cure you. It's face down, right? It's face up. <clears throat> Ooh, okay. Not worth it. <laughs> Paranoia. Whenever I end my turn within range of another person, I have to flip one horror face up. Then, frayed nerves. 
Roll one if you are dying of resolving a will test. Oh. Evie doesn't look so skinny anymore. Yeah, we put a little meat on her bones. <laughs> so she doesn't look like she's anorexic, at least. She's still super skinny. Whoa, 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 whoa. What? The rickety tower sways signally, finally coming to rest elsewhere in the manor. This is way over here now. Whoa. That's crazy. Do you right, remove that search for me? Yes. So that was my first action, right? So my second, I'm just moving back this way. Okay. And I'm done. Alright. Have you done this one? Not yet. I went first. Um, Wait, so I have a die? Yep. I was thinking, since you just moved so far away, I might make my way over to the detective. I do but want to talk to the detective. But that's going to take more than one turn. So I'll just go here and explore that door. Or should I explore? Yeah, go here, explore the door, and then and I then can finish with it. Yep. Mm -hmm. The door you appear through seems to have disappeared. Pressing your palm to the wall reveals no seams or latches that could account for the disappearing door. You have to find another way out of the manor, gain one clue, and discard this turtle. So it's pretty much what we've sort of already established that this thing is moving around. Okay, so then yeah. move me another space. Okay. Alright, Warby. Alright, I'm going to explore this area. This door has been highly polished. Fascinating. Alright. The door opens into a den dominated by a billiards table. You at first believe the den has crumbled away from the manor into a dark void. Then you realize the lights have simply burned out. Discard this explore token and place the billiards room tile as indicated in darkness and useless. It's uh tentacle. So if these move rooms keep moving and you guys end up next to each other. Wordy has a tower where you can flip a whore face down or discard. Yeah, really, I need to get close to you so I can okay. help you out. I got it. Okay. okay. Alright. <clears throat> and there's two darkness places in here also. So be careful, Wordy. Checks or something because you have the haunted pool table. All right, a sheet of paper has been left in the quarter bar and a puddle of spilled booze. There's a search token that that's wrong. Search, I'm looking for booze or rum. Sorry, that didn't say. Right, search token here. So, a piece of paper, right? Yep. Behind the billiards table is a plush armchair, and something glints in the darkness. Place a search token there. Sure. I would go for the paper. The glinting thing will probably curse you. <laughs> From right, what we'll I've that next turn. Yeah, yeah. All right, so I get a free move in here, right? You have to move in there, actually. Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm compelled to move. Yeah, you're compelled to that move. That means it's probably gonna move. All right, I'm gonna search this paper. <coughs> no, I was compelled to move in here, actually. This one was a may enter. Yeah. Oh, I thought it was gonna. So, yeah. So you're going to search? Okay. There's a paper sitting in a puddle of alcohol in the bar. This page is another journal entry. You can read only portions of the original writing, but it seems Officer Mori was becoming paranoid. I am afraid the manor lured me here. It is doing something to my mind. There are still answers to seek. Completely confusion. And I must hide what I have done, have found even from myself before I do something terrible. I do not. Become like the others, gain one clue. So I wonder if this is actually off the morning ghost or something. Right? Like he's already dead. Alright, that's it? I think so. I think that's my. Okay, last and that's thing. everyone, right? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> a shatter rises, filling not just the air, but Wendy Adams' mind. Thank you. Uh -oh. oh, wait, that's not me. The urchin suffers two or will plus one negates. Okay. Four. Dang. Wow. Alright. 
face up. Okay. So for one additional face down damage, can we split this card face down? Minor shot. Alright. Officer Mori leans close over the ritual circle, whispering something. In a flash of light, Officer Mori is gone. God damn it. We leave the talk room. Well, that's because we are stupid. <laughs> All right. You want to go search this ritual circle and see if you I disappear guess, yeah. with it? <laughs> Candles sit half melted over animal skulls and letters from some past ritual. You bend down to inspect the circle of skulls and feel a deep sense of foreboding. It takes all of your nerve to look closer, Will Test. Okay, you have two? Okay. I have a ton. Did yeah. I? Go for it. Yeah. Okay. You have plenty. You failed to conquer your fear of the Greek wow. motor site. What? That wasn't mm. enough? Nope. We need all of them, apparently. You only have three Will. Yeah. What is up? Wrecked Uzi in the building. All right. Um, what was this last thing in my room? Someone left a light mounted next to the door. It was nearly burned out. I guess I'll search for that, right? You might be able to get a... Oh, a candle. That'll be nice, yeah. actually. It's easy enough to take the light down from the wall, bringing it back to full life in your hands. Gain the kerosene lantern. Common item. I probably should have grabbed that first. Yeah. <laughs> that would have been nice. <laughs> you should have gone for the detective instead of that stupid meat cleaver. Nope, I needed that as weapons. <laughs> I was, I'm assuming this dude's going to turn into the boss, and we're going to kill him. True. Just like we killed Gilman and, and Detective Blake. No. More importantly. Yeah. Well, technically, <laughs> technically we need to play advantage of the clues this time. Nah, it's all good. It's all good. Technically, these are all search items. We're all, we're all good. Yeah. Alright. So, that's one. Two. All right. Um, Beer Bosch is gonna be busy because he was doing his uh, Potter pub crawl. Potter pub crawl tonight, so he'll probably be incapacitated <laughs> for the night. Potter pub crawl. Yeah. Harry Potter. Yep. Mm -hmm. Um, right. I think I'm going to move here and search this glinty object, which is totally harmless, I'm sure. What's you got the, it. Wait a minute. It's dark. What's glinting off of it? The light from the door that he opened. Yeah. Or that that sliver of light that came through the clouds. Yeah, that one that had no indoors. effect. An intricately wrought key has been left Ooh. on the seat of the armchair, gained the silver key unique item. That seems important. Yeah. That was good. That's a good one. Hopefully, we'll move the next to each other or something. No. Alright. <laughs> With the sound of shattering glass, a vision breaks upon your mind. You see an elegant lady weeping as she throws a gleaming key into the dark. Her tears turn into screams when her skin starts to bulge unnaturally. The object you hold resonates with the manner, and you feel your connection strengthen. There's something missing. Place a key token on the silver key in the background. I can. Huh. <coughs> so wait, that was just from picking up the object. That wasn't... Yeah. Okay. The manor groans on its foundation, breaking the floor into splinters. Each investigator, monster, and key in the billiard room moves to the nearest space in the lobby. Okay. Then each investigator who moved suffers two face-down damage. Something straight here? I yeah, know. straight. And like, instead of just, like, teleporting you, it just, like, puts you nice. through the wall. Right? <laughs> yeah. Whole sections of the gambling den break away to be swallowed by the dark. The okay. Well, I think we got everything we needed in there. Yeah. Okay. Is that everyone, then, That's Michelle? That's literally what it said. You, you went, right? You did this. Yeah. Or is, that, is that this room? Yeah. Did you go? You, yeah, I you moved and grabbed the candles. Alright, and the investigation series. <laughs> Rita Young squints against even the weakest light, and the pain in her head throbs in time with her heartbeat. 
strength. I need to get one success. Done. The headache is just a distraction to work through. Done. That's it. All right. Um, I can get here where we can start exploring because I can go to three spaces. So okay. I can go one, two, three, and I'll do one of these fours. And then if you want to come and do your action thing. Yeah. Although, when I end my turn, I have to flip a horror face up. Oh, no! Wait, really? Yeah, but I don't have any face down. Okay. But I don't have any face down, so okay. it doesn't do anything to me. I can, well, I can flip at least one of them face down. As long as you're within the yeah. Oh, yeah, I don't have to move. I can actually flip both of them. Well, I wouldn't want to do anything else, but... Wait, can you just flip and get rid? Um, actually, uh, <laughs> I mean, that would be both my actions, but yes, I could, I think. This one is pretty bad. Just okay. rolling one fewer die while resolving a skill test. Mm -hmm. yeah. Alright, I'm gonna explore this side here. The door has a turn. Actually, here we go. Tell me which sounds more fun. Great. Here we go. We got stairs or ballroom. Probably ballroom first, because I'm assuming the stairs will be a new floor of the building that we're gonna have to go yeah, through. Let's do ballroom. I'll just knock out the side of the building first. Alright, the door opens with barely a whisper from the old hinges. Discard the explore token and place the ballroom as a big square die. That's the kind of thing. Nice. I still have 10 signatures on my petition. Alright, something has been written in dark letters on the fancy floorboards. There is a grand piano on display in the ballroom, and something seems to be jammed into the strings. Someone has abandoned something in the corner. Place the candles common item uh, in the first room, so... Someone wants to grab those. I already have a light source, so... No, that was a kerosene lamp. Bro, I totally oh, answered your question. Oh wait, you asked, asked your second question, or first one. Do I have some donation animations? Uh, I have the same like notification as my followers stuff. It's a different picture, but yes, technically. Uh, candles, it's running now. Are we gonna put it down somewhere? Candles. Does anyone have candles? Nope. Is it a unique item? No, it's a common. Yes, the word candles. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It was in the unique effect. Okay, where is it? Like over here? Yeah. Or it's over here? Where is it? Uh, <laughs> we, I don't have I don't have the access to the notifications in here. I will replay it though. Are you ready for this? Boom! Rick Uzi donating five dollars to the channel. First donation wow. ever. What a baller <laughs> for that O Dubs hype. My bad. What? O Dubs? Yeah. O Dubs. Uh, Overwatch. It's a video game. Oh, Alex. He's one of my friend brothers. He's the one that we play with. My bad, dude. My dude. Putting in. Actually, I'm gonna. I can update that. Hold on. Give me a sec. I can put my uh, dashboard in. I had OBS half screen, that's why. Oh, I only have so one fancy. I only have one monitor down here, dude. But it's oh, got 30 followers now. Nice. Well, it's just 25 right there. It's it's probably not updated. Um, oh yeah, we got a couple other ones I missed because I'm so good at checking these. <laughs> we got back in the past, DJ OTP with a follow. Best Cup of Joe with a follow. 31753 with a follow. Thanks, guys. What oh, ballers. Which one is in this? DJ OTP? Yeah. <laughs> 31753. <laughs> 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 I remembered I had that. Nice. Oh my god, this is still going. There's an explore token over here. Wow. Isometric is Google. 
The only door in the ballroom has an oversized handle that looks too misshapen to turn. <coughs> There's still stuff in here. Oh, here it is. There's a large cabinet against one wall. You could probably use it to block a door should the need arise. Place a barricade token. Yeah. Do you think we're in the space to mess with us? Probably. <laughs> Although, I think we were supposed to use them in like the warehouses when we were fighting. But we didn't need to. Alright. Oh, he's back. Officer Mori is seated, is seated on the piano room. bench. Back turned to you. Place Officer Mori. Right here, not facing us. Okay, I can move one space in this court area, so I'll do that. Uh, no, I won't. That's weird. Because you need me to be next to you, right? Mm -hmm. I really want to talk to Officer Mori. Well, I mean, I, I, I'm, I can go there next turn okay. and do it. Hopefully, we'll leave. The ballroom tilts and the furnishings tumble past, leave, uh, leave bright bruises on your body, move the ballroom tiles indicated. It's, wow. It's like gone. <laughs> it literally says to do this. What? Okay, so if you had gone in there, you would be like. Sure. Then any investigator in the ballroom suffers two face down damage in one horror. Okay. Good choices, guys. Oh, you know what it is? Probably. It's in the stairs. It's in the stairs. Wait, Wait where's that? that? That token should not be gone. Oh. That's this one. Hopefully this door leads back into the manor. Place an explore token here. That's this is an awesome mission so far. I really like this moving house thing. Okay, so it actually says to move it like here. <laughs> so as if as if there's gonna be a <laughs> stairway tile here or something. The greatest fear in the All right. All right. Um so that was my turn. So I went first, right? Or yeah. I think I still have to go. Yeah, I think I went first. So, yeah. So you're gonna do. I guess so I can do. I mean, as my two actions, I can either turn both of yours face down, or I can turn one face down and remove it. I think you can only use your action once. Oh, that's actually probably true. What does it say? Well, it just said, okay, you or another investigator within range puts one more face down or discard one face down. No, you can do it multiple times then. There's, okay. It'll say you can only do it once per round. Okay. Energetic Snowflake says, Leslie! Hey, what's up? Who's that? Oh, it's gotta be Lisa. Hey, Lisa. Lisa's Hi, now. Lisa. That's <laughs> <laughs> my friend, Lisa. You can, like, back in if you want. Hey. There you go. No one. We're just kidding. You're not the only person in the world named Lisa. Come on. <laughs> she is the only person in the house named Lisa. <laughs> 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 All right. An uncreative one has followed. Thanks for the nice. follow. 31. We're almost there, guys. <laughs> Soon. We can make money apart no from apart mm -hmm. from O-Dub's hype donations from Rakuzi. Okay. So, the other thing is, like, if you fail on two for that, I sort of... I'm not going to even bother trying again. I'm going to do a score token. Like, I kind of wonder if I should do it because I have five little. So I would actually have a better chance of getting more. Oh, so you want to flip one and then start making your way there? Maybe. Sorry, kid. Worthy. <laughs> I went insane first last game because of this. But, I mean, I'm at least helping out a little bit. That's, right? you know, it's still <laughs> two out of five damage. <laughs> we can always beat up later. I mean, I'm yeah, going to keep mean... going into this ballroom, so... Okay, I guess you're right upstairs. And then I'll move again, so... Yeah, you never know. Mm -hmm. You never know. Alright. How, how many spaces can I move? Two. So it's gonna take me... Yeah, if I don't move this turn, it'll take me three turns. So I can heal, and then move to... And the next turn I can move, and then do it. Alright, I'm gonna turn one of your things face It's down. not worth it, Worthy. What? It's not gonna okay, be worth wait, it. Okay, wait, no, no. Never mind. I was going to say something, I was going to say it would be pointless because you'd immediately have to flip one over again, but then that wouldn't be face down, it'd be face, never mind. Okay, so oh no, I mean, that's the one I need flipped though. Yeah, yeah. So. Flip it now. Flip it. God damn it. <laughs> what? Uh, You're, see, look how ungrateful I know. This doesn't, you it, help it. it. That's not actually getting rid of the, the problem though. I'm still at two damage out of five. I know, but he can't do anything about it right now. I mean, he could. I 
don't think this is going to be that useful. For the greater good. You say that. <laughs> All right, I'm doing an explore token. All right. The door is covered in food stains. All right. You push open the door to see a kitchen with a small pantry attached. We need the kitchen with the claw icon. Yeah. Uh, hello, hello, Jesus. Alright. <clears throat> Shoved behind several stacks of meal is an ornate longsword. That makes sense. You spot a stained stained tome on a counter in the pantry. Place the search token that's indicated. And you can move one space. Right, you want and this long sword? <laughs> a gleaming long sword has been poorly <laughs> hidden among the kitchen trash. Hey, I don't have any darkness in here, do I? No. When you inspect the sword up close, you realize it has old bloodstains marring the glossy metal blade. Gain the enchanted blade common item and one clue. That's, awesome. That's pretty good. Yeah. Can you make that? You see for an instant a woman chanting as blood runs in rivulets over her arms on the shining sword. Her flesh twists as the vision fades. The manor floor tilts beneath your feet, jostling the object you hold. Your head begins to ache with the effort of remembering the final piece still lost plus a key token on the enchanted blade. Does that mean I can't like trade it or anything? You can't lose it. Yeah. Well actually yeah, does that mean you can't trade it? It just says you can't lose it I think. Okay. The floors and walls begin to blur together, sweeping solid objects into their vortex. Each investigator in the kitchen or dining room suffers one damage, one horror, and becomes mesmerized. Each investigator, monster, and key in the kitchen, dining room, or moves to the nearest states to the lobby. So, that's both of you. Did we miss the total? Yes. Dang. Okay, that so... That tone sounded important. Okay. Here's what it says. One horror. One damage. One damage. One horror. And you become mesmerized. Uh, rule, rule one. Face up. You were. Oh, face up. Yeah, I rolled resolving strength test. I shouldn't be doing strength tests. Oh boy. Uh, grievous injury results immediately. Suffer one additional face down damage until the start. Okay, that actually wasn't bad. So I suffer one additional face down horror. I'm not getting more action. So I got one horror, right? I just got one horror for that. Yes. Okay, and then mesmerized. That'll be a condition, which I think is the green card. Yeah. Board game hype! Alex, you'd probably like this game since you play Eldritch Horror. I, I like this game better than Eldritch. It's a little more, it's more immersive because it's like more storytelling than, than more Eldritch. More dynamic because of the apps. Yeah, I mean that's really what it is, is this app is amazing. Like Eldritch is cool, but like, I don't know, this feels more like what? you're actually doing the stuff you're doing. Yeah, this says at the end of your turn an alien will take control, flip this card. So this, this is... I told you, Worthy. You should have just. Is my turn? Yeah. Um, Good luck, you guys. Wait. Thank you. Thank you. All right. All right. Thanks for tuning in. Oh yeah. Thanks for <laughs> tuning in, IRL. Yeah, IRL. <laughs> All right. Each investigator, monster, and key in the kitchen or dining room moves to the nearest space in the lobby. So you're both here. Missing key. Does that mean the tome? <laughs> There's no key on it. So no. What's the tome? It sounded really important, but it was this thing. That was this one in the pantry. How are you even going to get to it? You were supposed to do it first, I guess. Yeah. You got, we've, we've all but suffered I, the curse, except for where we... I would have had to move and then do it. I wouldn't have been able to. No, no, basically it's saying to not have searched for the blade. Like, the sword is what moves the room. Yeah. Uh, so it's not for your turn. You get a weapon or some sort, like the meat cleaver and then the sword. That's when the room shifts. Yeah. Well, mine, well, mine shifted, but mine didn't disappear. Yours disappeared after you found something. After I found, like, the Okay, so I have to key. flip this now, right? What was that? It says flip at the end of your turn. Yeah. Okay. Knowledge has... Oh, actually, sorry, not yet. Technically, this is still going. I just want to make sure there's nothing else that'll shift. And then your turn will officially be over. Although, is it? 
You did two actions, right? Yeah. Okay. All right, so all the, uh, the cards, these are gone. They're just discarded. All right. Out of the vortex materializes another kitchen and dining room. Everything's subtly different than before. So this is a different dining room. Literally a different it's a tile. Four, it's a four tile. Does that mean it's like yeah. dining room? Oh, yeah. Yep. It's a tentacle, and it's got like half half of it's like a dining room, and half of it's like a kitchen. This is crazy craziness. You know what, everyone? Gleaming, ignore it. No, no, it's okay. A single stained book remains on a kitchen counter. Oh, okay. But we got all this damage. No, I think this is still different, though. So inside the kitchen is a wood stove and something lying among the coals. Don't do that one. Yeah, do the book. <laughs> it didn't say the word total, so it's probably different. Something has been embedded in the dining room table. Place a search token. Don't do that. If it's embedded, that means it has a blade yeah. or something. Right. True. And then the circle of skulls is over here. Okay. So I can try and do the circle of skulls. On my turn. Alright, that's it. Is so it now your turn is done. Okay. Alright, so I'm gonna move. Wait, oh, wait, wait, she's gotta do so her the alien. The alien is taking control of me. <laughs> yeah, Worthy. Okay. Worthy is the alien. He's trying to take control of your turn. <laughs> Knowledge has roots in dark and dangerous practices. You must consider which risks are worth taking. Suffer one horror, one face down horror, unless you drop a spell and then discard this card. You have a lot of horror. But I don't have any spells. So. At least it's all down. Oh, okay. <coughs> so, Wurby, maybe you should medic us this time instead yeah. of going to do these skulls <laughs> that you're so fascinated with. I really want to see the circle of skulls. It's going to shift the room and change it into we're going to have to find another dining room set, I bet. <laughs> I want to do the circle of skulls. It'll be the first all right. one. Michelle's behind me. Besides, last time I went crazy, I won the whole game. It's true. Remember? It's true. <laughs> okay, so go ahead and... If you fail this order. I'm going to be very upset, yeah. Alright. Candles sit half melted over animal skulls and letters from some past ritual. You bend down to investigate. Will test. Alright, come on. At least three. Um, okay, I'm going to use my... I'm going to use my cigarette thing okay. and then I'm going to use a clue. Cool. Three. The skulls and flickering candlelight do not unnerve you. You knock a few aside with your hand to prove it. <laughs> Take that, skulls. Is that all I no, did? No, it's okay. okay. <laughs> 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 <It was> like, <laughs> Done. <laughs> you squint to read the letters, but they are written in a dead language. Over and over, they reference someone or something called yog Sabath. Your heart sinks when you recognize the handwriting of Officer Mori, gained with the ritual components, unique I item, and one. I mean, we saw him standing over yeah. it, so. We knew it was him. Yeah. You suddenly see a bearded old man chanting around a circle of skulls, candlelight painting his face into crags. Before your eyes, the before you before your eyes, the man's skin starts to twist, and the firelight flares violent. Place a key token on the ritual components. So that's all our key tokens. The four keys seem to clear your memory. You realize that something in the manor has unlocked. The, un the arm-shaped handle starts to move, unlocking the door. Up at that, explore token the bar. So we can't get through yet. Okay, so we need to go there. The skulls and candles begin to glow with eldritch light, filling the small dining room with the sense of a predator stalking close. Uh, That's it. I think that was successful. But it's still there, right? It is still there. Oh, yeah, we I guess, unlocked something. I guess technically you can still. Uh, okay, wait. We just we got rid of this, but but then what? No, it's still there. No, it's on there. Like it's literally saying that token is like shaping differently because it said. Oh, if we'd gone there before, it would have been like locked. Yeah, exactly. Okay. All right, so that's everyone, right? Yeah. A piping, haunting music echoes from everywhere, but only, who's that? The Urchin. urchin. I was making sure it wasn't me, because I keep reading my name. <laughs> only the Urchin can hear it. The Urchin suffers two horror, will, uh, lore plus one negates. Then you flip two horror face up. 
God damn it. Ooh. Okay, <laughs> me, I got four. Okay. Okay, it's, it was two. I only need two. You only yeah. yeah, need two, yep. Yeah. Okay. And then you flip two. Should I do it randomly? So you're supposed to sort of have them in order and then flip them from like your most recent. I, I will tell you, let's look at the rules for this. I think they are in order. I, d I mean, right now it doesn't matter because they're all based on anyway, right? I want some of that stuff that's like stunned or restrained and then discard. Yeah. That stuff's awesome. Do you have like holes in your elbows? When an effect yeah. instructs an investigator to flip one, it's always right. Mm -hmm. Start a couple of them. Elbow holes in like all my clothes. It's driving me insane. Mm -hmm. I don't know what I'm doing in all my clothes and all my clothes. Except for like professors. What do you have? Is it like just catching? I don't know. Oh. You used a really short elbow. Ah. Suffer one additional six times <laughs> one with this card face down. How much is that though? It's like six. Suffer one additional six times. All right. So we need to. I need to come. I went. Okay. Psychology. One, two, yeah. three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. So next turn, I'm going to come and. I need some whiskey. Here. She needs to go first and move next to you. So yeah. you can just sit there and be like. Yeah. Ch -ch 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 -ch. I think actually we really <laughs> can do that. Okay. The glow of the ritual circles flares white and disappears. Nice. Okay. A monster with oh, a no. beard on its twisted face steps out. Uh, from thin air over the ritual site, spawn a thrall, as indicated. Well, there goes that plan. The whole worthy saving Michelle plan. Those were the days. We can still do it, maybe. We'll just have to sit there and let the thrall attack us. Why didn't bandages waste work on, like, mental wounds? Yeah. Where are the mental bandages? Oh wait, I was supposed to do my Mesmeran chart as well. Did you went before her though, didn't you? Oh no, you didn't. We should have done it just right after... Before we started doing this. Yeah. Before Michelle's thing. Go ahead and just do it. Okay. Yeah. Nothing is as it should be. Everything must be rebuilt. You must prepare this world for rebuilding. Place fire in your space and discard this card. Alright. So that wouldn't change too much, right? No. Actually, that might help you. Can I go into a space that has fire? Yeah, I don't remember the consequences for it, but I'll look it up in a little bit. Maybe this Where world is gets burned down. That's what I'm saying. I said, that might be, this might be good for you. Yeah. Alright. Thrall. Let's get these guys on their face. I hate these miniatures. They're garbage. Mm -hmm. This is what they look like, in case you're wondering. Giant hand thing, okay? Okay. Why are so such garbage miniatures? It's because like they wanted the miniatures, because like okay, so like they did the, they have the same stuff with elders, right? But they're just the cardboard tokens. Mm -hmm. so they wanted these miniatures because that's what this game is about. Is like the miniatures and the whole pretending like you're actually in this mansion. This is so hard to put in. I did it. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> The thrall moves two spaces towards the nearest investigator. It's already in your space. Then it attacks the investigator in its space with the lowest strength. The hulking monster sweeps at you with its malformed claw. Strength, two successes needed. Nice. Wow. If you pass, you dodge away from its swing. Okay. Oh, I didn't see how much health it had. I'll tell you in a second, though. Each investigator must resolve a horror check against the monster yeah. within range. With the highest horror rate. You're not in range. Because you're through a doorway. The doorway stops it. Alright, so where is the only one? Alright, Rory, here's your horror check. Yeah. The creature blinks and seems to shake off some stupor when it sees you. The thrall starts to sob and beg you to kill it. What? Suffer two horror, will plus one negates. I That's see the thrall along with that. Yeah. Oh my god, they 
like just like this is just like a gigantic can. Yep. Um. Look at this. This is thing is having. Yeah. I would spend it. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do it. Okay. Well, it's more of like, should I use my? Oh, I see. Or not? Well, the, what does it say? Once per round. You already used it, didn't you? Uh, is this? I guess still is this the part of the last. Okay. So the round. Yeah. Then yeah, I can't use it. Alright. Okay, I'm this phase. Alright. Alright, let me tell you about this dude's health. Six health. Yeah. I would, it would be better if I could actually get away from him, so I can use my poison mist on the next phase. Okay, let me tell you You better come my way if you get away from him. Okay. Yeah. I know I supported you when you, when you have left. Chris, but this is a more dire situation. No, go kill it. <laughs> <laughs> um, let me tell you what fire does. This is the wrong one. Yeah, I think you take damage when you use it or something. Uh oh, we're down to number three. Dang! They want us to be uh, searching for more garbage. What's number one playing? He says JK. <laughs> Get wrecked! <laughs> What's number one playing? That's a good question. Alright. Gotta do some oppo research. Whenever an investigator moves into a space containing fire, you'd suffer damage. After an investigator in a space containing fire performs an action other than the move action and there's fire in your space, you suffer a face down damage. Whenever an investigator forfeits an action in the space, you also suffer damage. As an action, you can attempt to extinguish the flames by testing your agility. Uh, for each success, you can discard a fire from the space. Actually, it's not good. Whenever a monster start its, starts its activation in a space containing fire or moves into a space containing fire, it suffers the damage. So that's that's good. nice. At the beginning. What? It starts its activation. That's the movement. I think it's got a damage then right now. Okay. Cool. It, I think it starts with the one fire already there, right? Doesn't that make sense? Yeah, I, think, I would think so. Okay, uh, at the beginning of each Mythos phase, before Mythos event is resolved, fire spreads. If one or more space contains fire, place one fire token in a space adjacent to the space that contains fire. So what would it take for me to move one space over here? I, it doesn't say anything, it just says only if you if you do any action other than move, then you suffer damage. So it sounds like you can move for free. Is there any penalty regarding moving along in the space of the monster? Yes, you have to do a, uh, what's called a, uh, evade check. And it's almost like doing a combat. It's okay. the same sort of test. Orient Express train. What is that? Oriental Does Express, that's, uh, one of the movies we've got right no, now. No, I know, but it's, it's called Ex Orient Express Train. Oh, it's a game that, it's a game they're playing. Does it look uh, how boring? Many, how many train themed games are there? A lot. A lot. We're, uh, we're gonna see, uh, the Tomorrowland. Nice. Alright, so do you want to do an evade? Yeah. Basically, when you're trying to move out, you do this, and then you'll do your move if you pass. Or it'll tell you. So here's what we'll do. Okay. Evade. The Thrall warps a monster, wraps a monstrous arm around you. Agility, one success. That's even the worst thing. That doesn't make sense. Okay, you're good. Alright, I'm going to use my free move. <clears throat> Um, if you pass, okay, if you, it says if you fail, you do stuff. Or no, if you pass, you slip out of the terrible embrace. Okay, so you're good. So now you can move. Alright. So I can either go here and try and kill it, or I can go here and deal with the one. It's sort of a thing, but I feel like since you're about to go insane, I'm going to go deal you at least one. I can go fight it. Okay. Alright, <coughs> so I'm going to move here, and then I'm going to get rid of one of your four. Okay. Um, what can I do on my turn? There's no way to get here without going to the monk. Right. Okay. I can go up here. Yeah, that might be a good idea. Uh, Alright, I'm going to go one, two, three. <clears throat> and I guess I'm fighting with a gun, because I'm not... You could have done that in just two spaces. So. No, not with the door. Hmm, in that case then, three. So I can, oh wait, that's gonna hurt me though. I'm gonna shoot it anyway. 
But then you can move again later if you want to. Yeah, that's true. Maybe I'll shoot it then run away. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm going to shoot it with the firearm. Okay. All right, I'm attacking with a firearm. Your hand shake. Your hand shake as adrenaline pumps through your vein. Oh, God, I forgot this is the ability. Oh, I have four. Okay. Uh, you open fire despite the difficulty ability test. I need two successes. Okay. If I pass, the marksmanship your marksmanship overcomes your uncooperative limbs. The monster suffers damage equal to your weapon's damage, which is four. Nice. Yep. That's actually good because it's gonna die on its turn. It's gonna burn it down. Yep. Right. So I'm gonna just run back to you guys and, and finish my turn there. What's that thing on the table? Oh, that's the thing we're not. We're That's the thing we haven't it. grabbed we're yet. We're ignoring it. We're ignoring it for right now, yes. Mm -hmm. Alright, so we're done there. I'm done, so Michelle, you can go. Do you want to start heading up? Yeah. And then you want to do the explore then? Mm -hmm. Well, okay, the further away you get from me, it's going to be harder for me to do anything. It's still only one space right now. Okay. If I, I don't explore, really want to go that direction. If I explore and then don't move in there, then I'll be within range. You're, you're, there's no guarantee, though. We've been dragged into rooms. Right? Yeah, I understand. Um, I say just do it. Yeah. Wait, let me see if I have any action. Unless you want to be brave and figure out what's <laughs> gleaming inside this table. Ooh, do you guys have things with actions on them that you can hand to me while I'm standing next to you and then I can do I, them? I don't. No. Alright. Um, right, so you have to explore. <laughs> All right. How did you know it was upstairs? That's impressive. You find a hall staking up to the second floor of the manor. Find the hall, the hall stairs tile, and a door is indicated. Okay, so um, it's a uh, it's a claw. I don't think I have any claws. There we go. Yep. Yeah. And then you can align that other tile with it and get rid of both of these explore tokens are gone now. Nice. And then there's a door token. You can throw at the very end of the hall. Okay. <coughs> yep. Okay. But it's not an explore token? It will be, I'm sure. Okay. Alright. It almost seems as if the floorboards tilt up in the flickering light of the hall. Place a search token in the middle of the Yep, and then place at the top of the stairs is a door crafted from rough wood planks. Place it for a token. <clears throat> nice, dude. Trace wins. Who who is it? Hold on, I'm gonna look. They're not even online! <laughs> We're about to be number one! Alright. You notice a tall shelf <laughs> shoved against the wall and you can use it to block an enemy. Should the need arise. Who is it who keeps telling us this stuff? It's, you're telling it to yourself as okay. you see it. Alright, you may move one space in, so you can stay there if you want. Oh, okay. Alright, so that's everyone. Did it say this was gleaming? No, it's that's something with the floorboards tilting up. That's okay. it. This is weird to move in. Is that... Are you going to head this way? I mean, if you stay where you are now, you can literally get rid of two of her things. Because you're in, you're in range. Oh, I am in range. Okay, never mind then. Yeah. Alright. Alright. Yeah, we're number one now. Nice. Boom! <laughs> Alright, so. Your hand begins to burn. The mythos effect 
event affects the investigator with the most items. I have three. Three or four. <coughs> Or you could just do it. Yeah, you can decide. Right, sure. You are the one that's like not about to die. Yeah. You have two days. <clears throat> the object in your hand glows with heat, and you instinctively drop. You nurse your hand, which is now sc uh, scarred by an agonizing burn. Suffer one face down damage and drop one random item. So does that mean I just add another one face down? Yeah. Okay. Then drop one random item. Yep. So you can't. So take your two that so are going to be. There, does this count as an item? Is this a spell? Uh, no. So actually, I only have three items. Yeah. That's actually one spot. Yeah. At least it's physical. <laughs> okay. Alright, I'm dropping my razor, so thanks for having me. Nice. Yeah. I really need this. Alright, a subtle howling echoes around the foyer, repulsive to your ears. Each investigator, monster, and key in the lobby moves to the nearest space in the dining room. That's everybody. Okay. <laughs> what if I keep saying key? I, I have no idea. I think if it, maybe it'll get to a point where we like have to drop them or something, but the key stays on. I don't, don't know. The foyer collapses into a sinkhole, leaving only rubble behind. This part the lobby. Well, at least we fully explored it. Too bad we can't get to the... Everybody suffers two horror. Will negates. You only need one success, right? Here, I'll go. So, we all do it, so... What is it, Will? Is that what I said? Four. Yeah. Oops. Okay. I guess... Taking one. I'm gonna die. <laughs> Two? Okay, one. Okay. Minor shock. Out of the heaving ground erupts two narrow halls with ceilings that feel oppressively low. Place the hall two tile and hall corner one tile and a door and a wall. So these both have tentacles. Okay, so there's hall, hall one. corner one? Hall corner one and hall, corner one. hall two. Okay, so we have a wall here, and then there's a door here. Okay, in the corner of one hall, the floorboards buckle into a ridge, so there's a search through in there. A short phrase has been gouged into the wall over and over. A desk in the hall is strewn with papers, but they all appear blank. Search token here. Okay, so papers are definitely up here. The thrall moves two spaces. It doesn't matter, he's dead. Are you sure we want to discard it? Nice. So oh, doesn't the fire expand now or something? It was supposed to. It doesn't have to end of the turn though or something. I guess not that it didn't say that. Well, I'm gonna spread it to the space we spread from the instruction. Okay. So now we gotta put that out. But I, I think I'm waiting I, for Chris to be like, no, we don't have to put the fire out. We just leave it, right Chris? That's your thing? No, no, I'm expecting to grab that one. Very soon. So I'm gonna go first, and I'm gonna heal. Do you have six at this point? Yeah. 
You have three. Um, do you want to do one for both of you? Yeah, I know when you did. I know which one you need to get rid of too. All right, so I'm gonna do one for both of you. All right. <laughs> Would you randomly select it? I did. <laughs> Alright, um... I didn't... Can I choose which one I wanted? No, I didn't look at my... Just some sort of new... But I, yeah, but... Yeah, go for it. Randomly gonna pick. I think this one was... Does it say random on your thing? It just says flip one or face down or discard one face down horror. Yeah, see, we're just discarding one face down mm -hmm. order. It's all so good. one of us probably needs to. I'm gonna do that now. Oh wait, um, actually, am I gonna take damage since I did an action other than? Yes. Okay. You want to have done fire first? Try that first, and then you. Well, do you want to do fire? First? Oh, wait, you couldn't because you were. Yeah, because then I wouldn't be able to do two. So I, you take like, two think... damage then. Oh, that's kind of bad. So let's say you didn't go yet. All right. All right give me. That's not gonna matter. I'm just gonna do my agility test. Okay. So I'm gonna get rid of fire. How does this work? You do agility, and then as long as you succeed, you can take one fire. From a space or a space I move into later during the round. Okay. So I'm going to do this. So I'll do... If you move only one space, I can so still... So I got one. Oh, okay, whatever. So for each success, I can discard one fire. So I can only do one anyway. Okay. So I'm doing this one. I would have moved another space if yeah. I could have. <clears throat> Is that your entire turn? Um, I could search at this thing. Alright, go for it. It's gonna kill us. It's fine. It looks as if something has sunk halfway into a solid wood. Actually, this might just be a strength test. You try to free the object, crying out the table, uh, and out of the tabletop, attempt a puzzle using strength. At least you got the right thing to do. <clears throat> so you get to do five moves? Yeah, there? yeah. Okay. Okay, so wait, What's one. The it's the slider. One, two, I, I, got, I got it. Um, I, I, got, I have five moves. I can do four. One, two, three, four. The dining room table relinquishes its prize with a shower of splinters and a groan. Gain the shotgun cone. What the heck was this in there? <laughs> <laughs> what happens now? Six damage. Easy. Yeah. Nothing happens. We're good. Nice. Wow. All right. Perfect. All right. So now where we went, and nothing happens to you. Mm -hmm. So now Michelle can go. Do you want me to? I have good agility. Do you want me yeah, to? Yeah. If you get two successes, to then you can go one, two moves. Do I need to be in the space of fire before I try to do that? No. Okay. No. So I'm just going to check. I don't, yeah. Actually, I don't think so. Let's see. Totally no, it just says you can attempt to extinguish the flame, but that's very much I totally will say that way Okay. I do want to get these items now. Yeah, I mean, that might be, it might be worth going. Nice. Oh, nice. Okay. Easy. Okay, so move me, I'm at it. I'm not on the handle. No, that's the... Alright, so I can get rid of both of them. Alright, so now there's no fire to spread anymore. Alright, cool. Alright, so that's my turn. Alright. So I guess I, I'm already done, but maybe next turn you can search here. What were they? Was one of them gleaming? Yeah. One of them was a tome or like a, a book. A book was at the end, and then something smoldering in the wood stove is this one you're in now. That sounds a lot like gleaming. Yeah, it's basically the same thing. It's right. glowing. Yeah. Yeah. So get the book, and then you can do the smoldering one next okay. turn. And then we can start moving in this direction. Yeah. All right. So we're all done, right? Carolyn Fern glances ahead, uh -oh. only to see herself from behind. Her sight stretched thin, and her mind nearing the breaking point. Carolyn Fern suffers three horror. Will negates. Will negates? Yeah. Or, sorry, sorry. Lord negates. Lord negates. It was Will, I'd be actually a decent chance that I'd be One. Alright, so I only get two. Three face down. Or two face, face up. down. Face up. Okay. All right, minor shot. Wow, <laughs> two minor shots. Nice. All right. That was very much. All right, our turn. You want to go first, Michelle, and see what's over here? Mm -hmm. What is this? I don't. Yeah, I'm fine with ignoring that. 
It's the one we've always been ignoring. We're just sort of like, eh. Uh, I want to see if there's something that goes pure horror. Right? <laughs> yeah. Okay, so my turn. Alright, send me to a tone. Epic Gaming Night. Which scenario is this? is, um... Uh, the mansion, the manor. Yeah. Silver something Oh, manor. yeah. The Silver Manor or something like Silverwood that? Silverwood Manor. <laughs> Silverwood Manor. That's right. Silverwood. Is this Epic Gaming, like, like, like the YouTube channel one? With Roy? Are you a fan of Roy? Uh, he's on the Dice Tower. So, you're actually... Yeah. Oh, no, you're going here? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Do your search. The only book in the kitchen has been heavily stained with various foods. What's with all these food stains everywhere? It's a kitchen. You're but in I the feel kitchen. Like we've run into food stains a lot. Did we? I've never heard someone use the term. Food <laughs> That's true. Before. That's something I have not heard. The errant book is written in a dead language, but somehow you understand the text. <laughs> Gain the tome of secrets, common item. Secret farm. Right? <laughs> you could just give it a home. Awesome, awesome, dude. That's that's awesome. Congrats on all your uh, your popularity that you're gaining over at Dice Tower. That's pretty pretty sweet. Okay, you may become mesmerized to convert all uh, magnifying glasses to stars on the reality test. You may let an alien take control <laughs> of your body. I mean, really, the alien caused me to light that thing on fire, which killed the monster for us. <laughs> That's so it was a win. True. That was totally <laughs> worth it. Okay, so move me back to the other space. All right, hold on. There's still uh, stuff. When you lift the book, a pressure plate unlocks, and the wall swings forward, revealing a hidden staircase. Discard the search token and place a secret passage in it. Oh, this one. The raised section of floorboards nice. drops away to reveal a hidden staircase. Okay, so we discard this search token, that one right there, and then there's that's the other entrance. So if you want to move, oh, this okay. is like this is like the Marta in yeah, <laughs> yeah, the Marta system in the others. <laughs> so I can move there if I want to. Yep. Oh, I can totally do that, right? Screw that gleaming thing. We can't gleaming things gleaming suck. Thing. You get the gleaming. I'm honestly, on the gleaming honestly it might not be bad for her. It might not be bad for her to go here. I don't know if you want to go in there yet, because I think he's going to be the boss, right? Yeah. But you can start doing these two while me and Wervy get into this room. Because okay. that's going to take you us... You don't want me to see the That might be worth it, too, actually. I mean, yeah, I, it might be worth it just to get over there, because all of us are over on this side right now. Also, because then I'll have this bookcase that I could use oh, as a barricade. very convenient. <laughs> Yeah, I know. I I need I did I haven't been keeping up with board games that much recently. I've been doing more video games lately, but I saw that they have the Streets of Arkham expansion for this and I was like, Oh man. Streets of Arkham? Yeah, it's another it's oh my more God, is it like urban? Probably. I don't know. I was imagining like Batman. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But yeah, that looks like a good expansion. Alright. So that was both of your actions then, right? Mm, yeah. Okay. Um, and we haven't gone yet. Then. Yeah, wait, wait, no, no, that was one action actually, because that was just picking up the book just did that. Then you moved though, right? No, I thought you said you can. No, no, no. I thought you moved to get yeah, here. You were here, so you had to move one. And then you can continue your spree. Oh, movement. so I could continue to move, but I should just stay right there, right? Well, no. So you, you would be here. So to get there, you'd have to spend your oh, second. Oh, okay. Move. I mean, you could walk in here. Then. Not yet, though. Some candles. Oh, you can't? No, no. So, I thought opening it just let me go in. No, it's different. Or this is not the right one. You were right. You were right at the first the beginning. You're going uh, through this okay. wall, which is then a secret staircase that's doing this. Okay. Winding thing, teleporting. Um. So yeah. So her second move was going. Okay. All right. Um. Do you want me to do this one by itself? Do you want to head up here or? Um, which one did you go to? I can, I mean, it doesn't matter really. We well, can, actually, why don't you, or I can go here and then do this one, and you can go here and do this. I can. Rexy Cam, we don't have Rexy right. I think Lisa, Lisa stole Rexy, dude. Rexy's, she's, she's got two blankets, and Rexy's the third blanket, she's missing. Yeah. Oh, Rexy is missing. Yeah. What? Yeah, Lisa, Lisa went to bed already. So. Alright. 
So I yeah, I'll go do this one there if you want. Okay. That's cool. I'm down. The floorboards have buckled against each other, forming a ridge. Do we even want to look at this? It might be another secret staircase. That's sort of yeah. what that other one was, ended yeah. up being. It is. Nice. The ridge to the floorboard acts as a handle, and you manage to lever up a section of the floor to reveal a passage beneath the manor. Discard the search token and place a secret passage in the case. That's another one. You may move one space through the secret passage. So maybe you could have then, actually. I don't remember. Okay. Um, I'm going... Oh, okay, so they're connected. So I can go to any other secret passage. So I'm not I'm not going to have to stay here. Do you want to get the gleaming thing? I'm he is. Go for it. Oh, is this you right now? No, I went. I went here. Wervy's plan was for me to go here, and he'll go get the okay. gleaming thing. You can... Do you want to move one more space? Um... Yeah, yeah, I'll do that. Okay. All right, and then I'm gonna move here and get the gleaming thing. Oh, Wait, no. should I move one more space, or should I? Move? I can move two more because I'm the athlete. Because you could. Wait, weren't you here? So you'd have to move one, two to get there. And then... Oh, you're right. You're right. Yeah, you can only move. One. Okay. Okay, we're good. Okay. So the smoldering thing. It's not gleaming per se. Was there stuff in here? Oh yeah, this is that the was place about that power, yeah. Okay. That was with the cleaver, or no? yeah, the cleaver, yeah. A leather-bound journal, the sort of student might, the sort a student might keep, has been thrown into the coals. It does not look to be a badly, it does not look to be badly burned. You reach into the embers to salvage its strength test. Dang, you're like the weakest person. You gotta be strong to reach into the embers. All right, <clears throat> that's gonna be a will test. Because oh, wow. you're a baller. <laughs> <laughs> Three success. Good game. You blow white ash off the journal, revealing a tooled skull on leather cover. Gain the scribe's journal common item. Nice. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Yeah. So that were totally clear over there. We did it, <laughs> and Michelle went first, right? Uh, yes. Michelle, you went first this round? Yeah, I okay. found the first secret passageway. Cool. Very urchin-like thing to do. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> Your mind is weakening with fatigue. This mythos effect affects the investigators with the most spells. Okay. I have right. <laughs> no one else has no any. One has, yeah, that's 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 Remembering the strange chants and syllables is difficult. But your instinctive fear of the foreign magic is worse. Lore test, two successes. Um, I don't think, I don't know, I didn't use it. What did you use it for? I don't think you used it this round. I think you're right, so all I did, okay, you so I did it, yeah. one for free and then one with the flu, so I'm good. Nice. Alright, if you pass, education is the best cure for terror, and you hold fast to your knowledge. Good job. All right. Oh dang! You would have discarded it if you failed. <laughs> that might not have this, been, that might not have been bad. Oh no! The spell's the healing thing, isn't it? Or yeah, is no, it's not healing, but it, it attacks a monster in the face. Okay. The wood of the bell tower begins to smoke. The tall structure quickly becoming a chimney. Each investigator, monster, and key in the bell tower moves to the nearest space in the office. No one's in there. Still be in there. With, <laughs> yeah. with a roar, the bell tower erupts with a rush of flame. Discard the bell tower. Gonzo. Of course. The flames from the bell tower spread quickly, yeah. place a fire in each space in the office. Hmm. Okay. Alright, our turn. Can it move through doors? Yes. I think. So, but it can't move to here, right? You would have to move all the way over here. It right? has to go through doors, I believe. It kicks down the doors like I'm going to Okay. Yeah, it's, uh... It's good. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, dude. Thanks for, uh, for dropping by. We'll uh, try our best not to lose. <laughs> Alright, so... What am I going to do? Am I going to do this, or... 
Because you're already over there. Yeah, I'll be able to do these. Or one of them. Actually, do you want to do this one? And we can fully clear this room? Because I can do this one that then. That sounds good. Okay. And then... The first. Unless... Maybe not, though. Maybe what I'll do... What are they? Um, mine's like papers that were supposed to... Blank sheets, months, blank sheets hey, of paper. Why don't we take a second to look at the journal and actually think about the yeah. news? Something has been carved into the oh, this one's a carving in the wall. Okay. So, what do we feel like we were? Y'all just set that up. Mm -hmm. Not you. Okay, here's the, the journal entries. It was the so greatest far. beer in all oh. of the Epic Gaming Night with the follow. Thanks a lot. Truly appreciate it. We're one step closer to hitting that 50 followers mark. Does. Thank you very much. All right. The first one was the nothing is uh, as it seemed at first. The manor will try to stop me. I know I could become trapped here forever. Still, I must find the keys, which we've done. Mm -hmm. I know there must be four, though I cannot know how I know. It has to do with what locked the door. It has to do with with that locked door, and I must open that door to the expose so the other side. That's fun. that door, yeah. And I bet the keys are going to be useful in fighting it. Like, you have the blade, mm -hmm. which was one I of the keys. Two and I, have two. I have ritual components and a silver key. Awesome. All right. Uh, I'm afraid the manor lured me here is doing something to my mind. There are still answers to see. Completely confusion. And I must hide what I have found even from myself before I do something terrible. I do not become like the others. He has to hide stuff. Like, maybe the keys are actually going to be bad. But that said that you can't drop them. He's hiding it from himself, though. I feel like he's turned evil at this point. Oh, and or maybe we're... He's writing this before he turns evil. He's like, well, I he's have to hide going this. Insane, so oh, wait, that sort of makes sense because... So we're picking up the keys that he's hiding because, like, you have the poorly hidden blade in the kitchen and stuff, so... And the blade was also bloodstained. Yeah. So we know this dude's the bad guy. Probably, yeah. And we're picking up the keys that he's hiding from himself. Mm -hmm. The writing has become clear at last, and it speaks of a way out of this cursed place. The door, the threshold beyond are one. I could summon my own escape. Yog sathoth is at the is the gate and the guardian. He is in the manor now, and he has been summoned here before. I am afraid if I make this choice, I will either have my answer or become truly trapped. So he's trying to summon Yog sathoth he says I could summon my own escape, so... He yeah, is but he gate. also is saying that Yagstop is the... Gate like, and the guardian. So that would, I would interpret that as summoning Yagstop. Which was what they were probably doing here? Mm -hmm. I have found the locked door many times now. I cannot be sure it is always the same one because the manor shifts so often. But I will find out what is on the other side. The manor cannot beat me because I will uncover its every secret and escape. Not like the others who let the manor trap them here forever. I will find the answer, I swear. That's it. Let's go see what's on this writing. Okay, so here's what I was going to think. What I'm going to do first, Michelle, uh -huh. is maybe I run that way to, just so that we don't have fire. I'm going to do an agility test first. And if I get two successes, then I can run those three spots and get all of the fire and just clear it. Okay. And then, if not, I'll do the search of the spot I'm in now. And that'll leave Michelle to either explore that room or... I would explore the room. I think it's probably better to, like, fully get everything. So I'll go first, though. I'm going to do agility. Let's see if I can get two successes. So I'm just going to search. The hall desk is covered with blank sheets of paper. Approaching the desk, you are amazed to see ink leaking out of, leaking out of the, page, the blank pages. The dark lines of the letters form your signature. I suffer two horror. Lord, he gates public. I'm dead. This was not worth it. Oh! Okay. Two clues. Wait, you had two clues for that? Yes. Wow. Worth it. Yeah, that was definitely worth it. Boom. Alright. So this one's gone. So that's my turn. Okay. Alright, should I do this? Um, yeah, why not? Alright, I'll do that. Okay. This door is made of split timber. 
You push open the door to reveal a cluttered attic. Discard this explore token and place the attic storage tile as indicated. It's a claw. Uh, doorway facing the door. Yeah. Right. A heavy book has been left on a broken chair open to a dog-eared page. Uh, search token in the first room next to you. There's a misshapen form struggling toward you through the clutter, blood crusted in streaks on its arms, spawn a thrall in the other space. That's fine. You should see if there's No <laughs> I'm gonna fix it. Sure. You have to like clamp the foot like the, the toes of the foot because <laughs> other, otherwise it just bends. How is this supposed to work? Like one of them has a peg. One of the okay. feet, okay? And then you have to, like, literally use the toes. Because, <laughs> yeah, yeah, you got it. Muscle it in. Right? These are garbage. Everyone complains about these miniatures. They said you're supposed to, if you really wanted to, like, get some pliers and get some glue and have them glued in permanently, but then they just don't fit in the box. Done. <laughs> Immersive <laughs> experience. That's what he's doing. I I That's may have he's, sprained her ankle. He's going to look like that soon enough. Yeah. <laughs> that is really difficult. A power from no, a power, power far from beyond grips your will. Move one space into the explored area. All right, that's that's it. Okay. Um, I am extremely weak. Worthy, get in there. I can't make it this turn. You can make it. You can. So I need, well, actually, no, I can't make it, but I can't attack anything. Okay, so if I move here... Wait, gonna... wait, that was one action. I could do this, right? You could also run away. Or you could attack it. <laughs> or you could attack it. I so can't, can't throw weapons. my enchanted blade at it. I don't want to get rid of that. Okay. Um, Let me make sure that this melee is that you have to be in the same spot or the same area or adjacent spot. Yes, it is. I mean, it resembles a pig. <laughs> In the true sense of the word, it's like a pig. Oh, range is also a max of three spaces. But doors and walls block also. Oh, I got it. Nice. Ah, you had it. So close. I want to say you have to be in the same spot, but... Or does it say on there? No. I have the, like, icons on here, but... Oh, here we go. An investigator using a weapon or spell with a melee icon can attack... Okay, only in your space, so you do have to be in the same space. Okay, um... So, just... I'm not in her space. Do I still have to do an evade? No, thing? no, you can just run. Or you can search. Just run. Okay. I'm, she's gonna move towards Yeah, she's gonna move towards you, and smart. then I can actually move in then at that point. Should I go through this? No, I would just move one space towards me. Or two spaces towards me. Because it'll probably move two spaces too. But then I could go there. That's true. I forgot that one's connected. Well, it is. But then you're gonna be right in this path. Oh, wait, you could you take out the fire. Okay. That's actually not a bad plan, too. Yeah, alright. Cool. And then Worby still needs to go. Where should I go? I can do one, two. Um. Why don't. Well, you could try to take out the fire. Okay. Oh, no, you can't. No, you won't be able to do yeah. it. Um. I don't know where to go from there. You want to just meet up in my space then? Sure. Two, four. Alright. See, now it did it. Fire spreads out of control. Place fire in a space adjacent to the space containing fire. 
Also, I think the problem last time was it was from my card, not from the game, so I don't know if the game knew it was from there. Mm. That's um, true, so we forgot to add it in. Yeah. Same player's friends. Popping and hissing, the flames leap higher. This mythos effect event affects each investigator in a space containing fire or adjacent uh -huh. to fire. So we're all, it's all of us. I can handle this. It's all of us. Oh wait, yeah, we're still adjacent to fire. Sparks leap up toward the sky, dancing and darting like something alive. Some of the sparks streak to land upon you, burning your flesh, suffer two face down damage. So Dang. no combat against him, you can take it. Alright, so I'm almost dead. We have the same amount of damage. I'm good. So no offense, but I'm gonna use the bandit on all stuff. That's fine. Oh, screw it, can you throw me too? I don't need them. They're face down, right? Yeah, face down. You have nine? Yep. I haven't <laughs> taken any either. <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh. The storage space begins to shake, tossing knickknacks and boxes against you. Movie. This is the whole reason we moved this. The storage space begins to shake. <laughs> Move the attic storage tile and a door is indicated to the spot right next to Michelle. The whole reason <laughs> she was going to move. Okay. Um, um, which? That's uh, turn it toward, yes, that way that you got. And then uh -huh. that is there. This is still here. And then that door is now here. It's, yeah, it's just saying it's on both sides, basically. Okay. Each investigator... Okay, actually, this is good. Each investigator in the attic suffers three damage. So you avoided that. <laughs> That's good, yeah. The door with the strange handle shrinks away, only to reappear elsewhere in the manor. Move the explore token from the ballroom to the end of the office. The, the doorway there. Yep. Okay. Well, I was gonna go through there anyways. Your heart throbs in your chest, warning you of something to come. Each investigator, monster, and key in the ballroom moves to the nearest space of the hall or oh, st no. stairs. So it's not, oh yeah, the hall, it's, it's going away. Let's give this a shot. Suddenly, Officer Mori screams, his voice crackling with terror of something soon to come. The polished floorboards and rich velvet hangings of the ballroom deteriorate, rapidly aging into dust. Discard the ballroom tile and all tokens and cards in it. Mm. The thrall moves two spaces towards the nearest oh. investigator and attacks the investigator with lowest strength. They did just move I into a space of fire. Die. So it, it does take a damage then. But also I might die. Also that. The Thrall's attack seems to blur, its body replaced by an impossible chain of pulsing orbs that burn on contact, suffer two face down damage and two face down horror. Will minus one negates. Okay, so I'm not How does that work? Yeah. You choose. Okay. I'll probably do two. Wow, this is garbage. <laughs> Alright, so you've got... One and one. Or... Okay, two so of... I have two... Um, I have two hearts left and three brains left. How many am I supposed to get? You're supposed to take two. And one of... You can do one of each, or however you want to divide it. I said one of one. Okay. Is it face down? Uh, yes. Both are face down. Hey, you didn't die. Yeah. That's positive. Is this over yet? It should be. Each invest no, it's not. Each investigator must resolve a horror check against the monster within Are you range. Freaking kidding me! With the highest horror, we're, we're, we're not in range. This is garbage. At least you have you know still two sanity. I'm gonna go crazy, and then I'm gonna get one of those cards that lets me betray you guys. It's gonna be the card that says there has to be five pieces of fire on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here you go, Michelle. You got this. No fear. Your gaze is drawn to the unnaturally swollen and twitching limbs of the thrall. Observation, two successes. You could have three, right? Four. Yeah, you've got this. Easy. Easy sauce. Boom! <laughs> if you pass beneath its trembling bulk, you recognize a fragile silver of humanity. Sliver. I, I said silver? That's, <laughs> it's silver of humanity, alright? <laughs> it's gleaming, in fact. Okay, well, I can't see it, so I'm going to take your word for it. <laughs> alright, that's it. We're done.
We made it. So <laughs> wait, so I recognize the humanity of the woman with the giant disfigured yep. hand, and that makes it better somewhere. Mm -hmm. Yep. I feel like dehumanizing her would be less horrific. Let's have a philosophical discussion about that. Right, guys? <laughs> okay. Okay, so I'm going to go first, and I'm going to use my bandages. Wait, don't do that. Huh? We can attack this thing and kill it possibly. And also, there's fire. Yeah, so you'd have to do an evade check to do that. Yeah. And you, there's fire in the room too. I'm thinking we just go all out, and I can go with my three spaces and open this door. And see what happens. <laughs> Maybe it says, "Hey, you found but the exit. You don't have Good any job, keys. self." That's true. I don't have any keys. I don't think it matters. Like, never sees the. It doesn't. Yeah, it won't know that I have them. Unless it might, it might say. But sometimes it does say like if you have. Wording. You go first. Give me one of your items. <laughs> That's a key. I don't care which one. Well, I kind of was hoping to either attack this girl or use my uh, action to go for. But I actually, have a free action, right, to do stuff. No, it's not. Oh. If you want to attack, I mean, we can do that. We can we can play it slower. Okay. The problem is, how, do you think you can kill it? This, I think this will do three damage to it. Um, I'm not sure if I can kill it right now. It's more damage. It does five health points, right? Yeah, but it'll have four at the beginning of its. It'll have four, really. Usually, all you have to do. Okay. Yeah. Well, I might be able to use more poison twice, but then I wouldn't. Like, I wanted to be able to do the horror check, or, you know, get rid of something for. All right, Warby, I'm going to count on you here, all right? Okay. I'm going to kill this thing all right, with my this. shotgun. Oh, yeah, easy. And then I want you to go get rid of some of this fire. <laughs> That's what I was going to do, is maybe right, do an I'll agility try. test and do the three. But I'll do that instead. So I'm going to move one space. I'm going to... You don't need to move, right? Yeah, because there's a door. We're not in range. Oh, uh, okay. So we have to move. That's a, that's why I was like, you probably actually won't be able. To, you can't attack twice. We should move here just in case I fail. I'm the fire. I'm thinking about that, but then I have to do an invasion. Can't you move through here? I have to. Oh, I see what you're saying. So yeah. you're saying go one, two. Yeah. And then, and then shoot. There we go. That's exactly. Go for the flanking move. That's that's smart. That's smart mm -hmm. thinking. Tactics. All right, so I'm attacking. The thrall. And I have clues this time, so. Firearm. The gun roars and shakes in your hands. Agility, two successes. If you pass, your shot strikes the target. A monster suffers damage equal to your weapon's damage. He's down. Don't All right. worry. Alright. Um, now I do the agility. Oh, God. Yeah, I have one, too. All right, it's five guys. If you get two, though, then that's honestly... I will die at the beginning of my turn. Right. No, you can move out freely. Can. You can move yeah. out freely. Okay, I got one. Oh, okay, yeah, for your cigarette case, then. So, and then I'm going to move here. Okay, that's two actions. He's the first one's doing the test. Can I move again? You can move a second turn, yeah. I'm, I'm just gonna, gonna go here. Second. Or what were you gonna try? I was gonna try and go down this way again and kill this thing. Yeah. Okay. That's a that's, that's a good idea. Good. Yeah. But that would mean I can't use my bandages. That's my action. I don't think there will be much happening at the mythos. I mean, I'm, okay, so the mythos phase might hurt you. So, but the fire is gonna spread into your room again. Yeah, like we really need to take care of the fire because otherwise it's gonna burn into the game. Okay. So it might be worth it. Okay. So, and you moved into the room. Okay. Nice. Easy. Boom. All right. So that's everyone. Okay. Fire. When the screams begin, you believe it to be human. Be, be, you believe it to be human beings crying out in fear. By the time the last echoes die, you can only conclude it is some sort of wild beast. 
far closer than you would like. You can investigate yourself with one face down order. Okay. You have one. Left I have room. one. I know. Uh, what, what is this game? We would have been getting a ton of clues. Okay, nothing has happened this turn. Okay. Why don't we? If you move next to me, I can heal you through some horror. But she has. It has to be in range, right? Did you say in range? But um, within one. Does it say one space? Oh yeah, within range. Sorry. So she has to be. So or she has to both your turns both move next to me. Yeah. Okay, what are you going to do? I'm, I don't know. I'll, I can move into the same room and search if you want. If you want to do the search. So maybe she uses both of her turns and you can heal her twice. Okay. And then I'll, the then I'll do the search. Unless, okay, which one do you want me to do? That one or this one? Maybe I'll go up here because you guys are already over there. Yeah, I'll do that one next turn. Alright, and then I'll heal you for two or... Cycle of making. I haven't looked at most of them, so. You can just shuffle them if you want, then. Or, yeah, it doesn't matter. If yeah. really... Okay, so I'll go here and do this writing on the wall. Something has been carved into the wall for Aaron, or floor to ceiling. The words, four keys, four gates, one master, one answer, have been scratched into the wood dozens of times. The phrase what? seems to consume your mind, and when you blink, you have covered a whole sheet of paper with those cryptic words. Gain one clue and discard the paper. So what was the phrase? Four keys, four gates, one master, and one answer. So mm -hmm. I don't know what the four gates are. So we have the keys. Mm -hmm. We know who the master is. It's this Yog Sothoth. Mm -hmm. Can I get three keys? Okay, so we have that in the journal, too. Okay, so that's my turn. Oh, wait, I have two more movement then, so I'm going to actually move back here. And I can... Yeah, we might as well start heading for that. Yeah. Alright, so that's the full round. Yep. <clears throat> All investigators. A wave of dizziness breaks over you, forcing you to collapse. A voice presses into your mind, forceful and alien, will two successes. Yeah. Nice. 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 All right. If you pass, the voice cannot find a way to influence you before you lose consciousness. If you fail, the voice loves you with whispered commands. Become mesmerized. <laughs> the aliens! Around your fallen bodies, the manor cracks apart and drifts away into quiet, binding, binding light to clear the board. The entire board? Yep. Are we going to be lost in time and space? <laughs> yeah, so these are probably coming back. Okay, when you regain consciousness, you no longer recognize your surroundings. Place the library and basement tiles as indicated. They're both, I don't know, one's a four, and then the other's a two. Library and basement. Yep, the library is a claw, and the basement's a uh, tentacle. Which one is the two? The basement, it looks like. Okay. Oh no, the uh, library is the two. Okay. The is this the basement? Uh, mm, yes, I think. Does it have the claw on it? It's got a tentacle on it. Oh no, the basement's a tentacle. The library is the claw. So this is right. I want to do the one that has all the keys on it. I thought. Did you not do that one with us? Did I do a cave one? That was the one with the, the one where I won with the fire. Oh. Wait, right, this is the wrong know. library. This oh. is not a claw. That's a tentacle. Oh, no, you're right. Like here's a square tile we show. Alright, you climb to your feet, shaking off the dream of a voice that knew your every secret. Place your investigators as, uh, in this spot here. Yeah. A 
Above the dirt floor hangs a sinister glow, somehow more faceted than normal light. The light grows until it forms a howling portal in the fabric of the cosmos. Out of the strange light steps a twisted form lurching through the walls of this world, spawn a thrall. Another thrall. With the cracking noise, another monster drops from the ceiling. Spawn a thrall in the stairway. I'm beginning to possibly regret not doing the uh, run to the door option. I, I was calling it, man. Yeah. But that probably would have spawned like some boss and you probably all would have just immediately died to it. You gotta find guys with one big arm. Yeah, look at some giant man. Oh, there they are. Right. Yes, because there are some. <laughs> Oh man, what happened to my three? Dang. Wrecked. Three. Riggedy wrecked. Ooh. Royal Sword Game. Right away, some Kingdom Death Monsters. Okay, so Kingdom Death is actually a pretty good looking game. It's a, Looks like a gigantic board. Yeah, it's huge. I haven't played a World. Kingdom Death is like this huge Kickstarter that had like a giant. Like, Everyone else is like. You can see like the game boards and everything, but ours are personality based. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So. Hey. You know what's wrong? You can see. Haven't... You can Where's see ours Jelly? now. Where's Jelly Bean? Oh, that's true. She's Jelly Bean up. rubbing up on Worthy probably. as well as getting us all those viewers last night. That's true. All right. So and we the have... cat butt that we got right in front of the camera. Yeah. We got this thrall. Yeah, I'm gonna do a tent. Excuse my like thumbnail to push it in. More? Another one. Did we do something wrong? Yeah, we took too long. <laughs> if there's a door, we're running we for it, right? We were trying to not die. Yeah, that was not a good plan. We should have just accepted our fate. Yeah. Oh my god, I might have died earlier. I am dead. No, don't look! We're not done? I forgot that I had this one. What does it say? Um... It's just, it's an additional one, so now I have six. Oh. Oops. So what does that mean? You just out? No, she has to do a. Oh, actually, that's a good question. Yeah. Your sanity, like, you. You're just dead. Okay. I'll tell you, hold on. I think that means we lose. Oh. <laughs> well, that was inevitable. That's true. <laughs> oh yeah, it's Notch's back in for cat butt. <laughs> Makes sense. All right, here we go. Positive. Where's death? Dying. Winning the game. <laughs> <laughs> we don't need that section. <laughs> Okay, when an investigator has suffered damage, whether face over face down equal to your health, you become wounded. You're just simply wounded. Oh, you're fine. When an investigator becomes wounded, there's a wounded condition. Discard all your face down damage. So keep your face up one. While wounded, you cannot perform the move action more than once each round. So you can only move once. So you can still do your two spaces. Okay. You just can't do it twice. Does this change your win condition? No. no. I don't know. I don't think so. I think it's just in Do we have to not trust anything she says now? Cannot perform the move action more than once each round. If so much, some sort of damage equal to your health can be received. Do these have bets? No, I don't think so. Okay, so, cool. no. That's a kind of bet. I mean, it's not great, but. Mm -hmm. Alright, so we have another one. Okay, so we forgot the little token. Do you have the color one? So, this is a green. The green does shield token. Oh, these, okay. Yeah. This one's green. And I'll tell you what the other ones I forgot. Against one wall of the disused space, a heap of broken crates has become a mass of aged and tangled nice. wood. It can be used to block a door. <laughs> Here we or go. Some barricade is necessary. <laughs> Officer Mori was your friend, but the manor has consumed him. Oh. There is not a clear way to escape from these monsters other than through them. You steal for yourself what you need to do. Well, you need to start shotgunning people. Well, we're about to get attacked first. Oh. So the first thrall, which is this guy, 
Uh, moves two spaces towards the near what investigator. Color, it doesn't have one. This one won't have one. That's just health, you see. Oh, okay. okay, so who has suffered the most horror? Is getting attacked. I'm not. Oh, yeah, definitely her. I'm a five. Only a four. Okay, here you go, Michelle. The creature has eyes that burn with terrible knowledge. Will, three successes. <laughs> oh, what? Oh my god, this is gonna suck for you. You're dead. Again. 25. 25. <laughs> I got this. Just gotta give it a couple extra shakes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah! Three successes. Got it. Wow. But it still sucks? No, 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 you're good. Okay. This is really good, actually. <laughs> All right. Actually, it's not as bad as I thought. I thought it was you would have to do stuff. So, since you passed, you avert your eyes from the throng. If you would have failed, <laughs> you quickly lose your grasp on reality in the face of vast form presence. Flip two of your horror face up and become mesmerized. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Man, I can't believe it was so red. bad for me to have red gone is, back for you. This one is red. This one also moves to the nearest investigator and attacks the investigator and is basically going to suffer the most damage. That's no longer Michelle. I think, yeah, it's worthy. Hopefully it's another room check. Sounds like it. Probably not. The thrall has skin that heaves and crawls with a power you do not understand, but the injuries you have suffered start to twitch and answers. Flip three damage face up, will negate. Wow. Okay. And become mesmerized. Easy. Boom. Alright. But does he still become mesmerized? No! No! This one's Officer Mori! He has 21 health! Oh my what? god. <laughs> Officer Mori leaps forward with inhuman speed. Officer Mori moves two spaces towards the nearest investigator. Then he attacks the investigator in space with the mo most clues. I have three. This is probably... One. I have three. I should probably take it, right? Because you're yeah. almost dead. Officer Mori chops at your head with one monstrous claw. Suffer two damage. Uh, ability. I need one more. I right, got it. So two. Boom! Each investigator must resolve a horror check against the monster within range with the highest horror rating. So it's probably Officer Mori. I think they're all the same, actually. Because oh. they're all thralls. Okay. So they're all the same. It's so a super thrall. Yeah. Thrall. You realize with an uncomfortable Are we all feeling. The same one? Yeah. yeah. Okay. You realize with an uncomfortable feeling that your thoughts and plans can be overheard by something except for one horror. Nothing can again. Then you are mesmerized. Lose two clues. What? <laughs> All of us? Nothing to negate? That sucks. Okay, so one horror. Face up. Face up, okay. Hysteria. You scream, you scream, you scream, you slap yourself as hard as you can, hoping like to break the cycle, resolve immediately. Flip one damage face up, then flip this card face down. Alright. Okay, mine is. Grievous injury, suffer one additional face down damage, and flip this card face down. Alright. Mine so, is Puptomania. Uh, no mesmer. Whenever you end your turn in a space with another investigator, take one item at random from another investigator in your space. Nice. Right. Oh man, I really want you to take this. Or wait, no, I don't want you to take bandages. I want him to take the bandages. <laughs> yeah. Although, apparently... No, no, it's not bad. It yeah. gets wounded. Who cares? Yeah, actually, that's not yeah, It's not like we're going to be moving anywhere. We're literally going to be standing here attacking these guys. Yeah. Okay, mine. I don't have a weapon, though, other than my poison mist, which I don't think I can use in a, the same space. Problem. What does it say? You can attack a monster in the adjacent space. Oh, or... that sucks. Hallucinations. Keep face up. Roll one to your die and resolve any pain alterations. Okay. We lose two clues. Oh, We're all yeah. mesmerized. Dang. I'm sorry. <laughs> but do you need a... I need a mesmerization. Okay. This went down that was real trash. fast. That was trash. Do you need one too? We need to start lighting this place on fire. Okay. Here we go. I'm going to shotgun two guys and kill them both, okay? You got this. If I can get rid of the weak sauce guys, then we're good to go. Because then it's only one dude that we have to worry about. Yeah. Instead of three. Okay. So I'm going to attack this weak sauce guy first. Attack. The gun roars and shakes. Okay, agility. Two successes. Easy. Six damage. He's dead. 
right. I'm doing it again. Okay, you bring your weapon to bear, fire off a pair of shots in quick succession, same test. Boom. Nice. If you pass, your foe jerks at each impact, the monster suffers damage equal to the weapon's damage again. Okay. Don't worry, guys. Wait, this one's Officer Mori. Yeah. You kill two of them. Okay, I have an enchanted blade, but I have like two sprays. Well, you're still easily better than me just because. I don't have a weapon okay. that I can use at least. Well, oh wait, but now you have to do, undo your memorized thing. Okay, but before we do yeah. that though, what if you gave? What if she gave you the sword? I mean, that's fine. Yeah, I have. Because it's probably gonna be. You probably need like two successes anyway. So yeah. Okay. And we don't have any clues anymore. I you think. could give me the poison list, and I could try and evade. Can I evade? It's really tips, right? It's, I don't know. It's, I think they're different, but. Did we try it once? I thought we tried it and we got an agility test. Let's see, and a power small. Yeah. So you would stand a good chance anyway. What's your lore? Is it just three? So you only have to evade if you're trying to leave the space. That's what I was saying. Well, yeah, if she gets some poison, then she'd want to get away. Wait, you don't have any other weapons, though? Just, just the blade? Yeah. Yeah, she had to get rid of a razor. I was gonna, yeah. Why don't you trade and then use bandages? Oh, you don't have any use damage anymore. Can you give me the Why don't you give worry well? the bandages? I gotta give the bandages down. Yeah, I think that's a good plan. Okay. But so, so you won't be able to attack this turn though, even if we evaded. But it might not be a bad idea though, because then you can he probably won't true. move towards you. Unless he moves towards you because of your stats. Yeah. But it's more likely that he'll stay with us. Yeah. That'd be fun. Um I mean not really. Do you want the scribe's journal? Oh, wait a minute. Effects cannot cause you to discard your clues unless you choose to. I am not choosing Whoa! to discard these clues. Oh, <laughs> Alright, so now I'm going to evade the okay. thrall reaches out, but instead of grabbing you, it lays a gentle hand on your head, and your Whoa, mind feels <laughs> with tantalizing secrets become mesmerized. <laughs> Already mesmerized. You are super mesmerized now. So I can't evade. Is it not giving me an option? I don't know. It doesn't say you. If you fail, I think you just. I think it happens, but you still get to move. And I get double mesmerized. Oh wait, you, we still need to resolve your mesmerized. So oh yeah, yeah. Well, hold on. Actually, remind me. I'm gonna be here near this barricade thingy. Let me see. Happens. I don't think it's possible to have two in the same condition. No. If so, then that's not bad. Oh, I guess technically you were supposed to evade for trading as well. It's any other, any action other than the attack action or move action. What? So you, if you move out, then you don't have to do an evasion. So you're, this is now for you trading. Okay. But you can now freely move out, I guess? What? Hold on, let me read it. If the investigator in monster space attempts to move out of the space. Yeah. The monster space launch barely perform any action other than the attack action. Okay, it's, if you attempt to move out of the space or to perform any other action other than the attack action. That investigator must resolve it. So you'd have to do two evade checks. Okay. It doesn't say like... Okay. Let me look at this condition thing first. You cannot gain multiple copies of the same condition. Okay, that's good. So let me do mine and then I'll, we'll do a second evade check for you and we'll see... So that was for the trade. Mm -hmm. We'll see if your movement one says that you're allowed to move. I guess so. That's why it doesn't say you move out because it's not necessarily a move. Okay. So, all right. So here's mine. So wait, are we doing another evade? Yeah, but I'm gonna do my mesmerize that I was supposed to do earlier. Oh, okay. All right. Nothing is as it should be. Everything must be rebuilt. You must prepare this world for rebuilding. Place fire in your space. Then discard this card. Nice. 
perfect. Oh, that's good. This is awesome for us. Does that mean there was fire when I first started? Technically, yeah. So I would take advantage of yeah. that. Yeah. But you're moving out, right? But she takes one for active, for doing an action in her in the space of fire. Is it one damage or two? Just one. Right? Okay. Or was it two? Why you gotta do this? Why couldn't you just say, oh yeah, it was just one? It was just one, guys. Yeah, that's all, that's all it was. Just one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's just one face damage. Okay. So now it's a big again. Okay. The thrall screams a supplication to its master. And you feel its fingers move on their own. Sh suffer one face down damage and one face down horror unless you drop a key. I would say just drop it, yeah. Drop the journal? Yeah. Okay. So it's on the space. You just put it on the space. So that's why. Yep, now it's, now it's, we know why. Mm -hmm. okay. do, you, do you think we still need the keys? Probably not. We probably needed them we to go through that fancy lost, door. Yeah, yeah mm -hmm. at this point. No, we're in the, not the losing section, the sub-winning <laughs> section, where it's not like the good ending, but it's we're getting... Like, I, I hate not knowing if we're like, if, you know, we lost the chance to win. Yeah. It doesn't say. We're going to live, I think. Which I guess is the point. It is supposed to drive the same. Okay, right. so, um... So okay, you're wait, good. so that's end of my turn, so I do my measurement very quick. Yeah, oh wait, so you are out of the space then now, right? Yeah, yeah I'm right here. Okay, okay. <laughs> Bless you. Alright. Um, relative safety. Move two spaces away from another random investigator within the starting star. Oh. Didn't even have to move. Um, so... Honestly, you can just like move into the corner and you'll still be in yeah. range, but it really doesn't matter. <laughs> I'm not near the barricade anymore. Boom. Uh -huh. um, Alright, so... Alright, Warby, take him out. I want to use my bandages. No, just take him out. Alright, I'm going to attack him. Twice. Yes. And I'm going to do 21 damage to bow. You're using a bladed weapon, right? I am using a bladed weapon. Alright, you swap your weapon from hand to hand, circling your foe and looking for an opening. When you find one, you lunge forward with diabolical speed. Agility plus one. Thank you. Let's see, whatever your touch result is, it's your damage. Uh, I'm going to use both of these. Okay, so two damage to him. Okay. Well, it doesn't no. add my weapon. Oh. Are you going again? Okay, if it's, if it's not adding my weapon damage, I'm only using one success. Is that okay? You're not using your lucky cigarette thing? I already used it. Oh, wait, is this a new turn? Yeah, you haven't done anything this turn. I put this token on there to, like, remind myself. Did you do it before we fell down the well? No. It was more recent than that. Because we have not done anything this turn. Like, literally, this yeah, is... Is this how you remind yourself when you've used it enough? Yeah. There was something, like... It might have been during the Mythos phase? Yeah. That's like, last turn. Mythos is at the end of the phase, not the beginning. Like, this is the first thing you've done this turn. It's not a very useful system. Uh -huh. <laughs> It's useful as long as I remember to clear it. This is the That's first thing. This useful. is the first thing you've done all round. All right, so I'm using two successes, one of them was three. Okay. All right. all right, going again? Yeah. All right, with a flourish, you lure your foe off balance. Agility, two successes needed. That sucks. All right, get good success here, wherever you got this one. I'll get one. Dang. If you were to pass, you could have done two. Your weapon damage this time. Okay. Okay. Oh, it probably said something if you fail, and I did not read it. Nope, that's you don't do anything that you fail. It's just that is disappointment enough. Mm -hmm. okay, More so, devastated. So we're done. We're gonna. Are we gonna take damage from the fire though? Oh yeah, you did, not me. I'm dead. You're not dead. You're wounded. I'm wounded. wounded. All right, let's find though. Now I have more six health. Whole health to I gave you those bandages and everything. Oh, yeah, so you're good to go for this next. No, he, see, it's better to save the bandages, you know? So we really need it. Yeah, see, when you really need it. Yeah. Which is not now. No, we're fine. Alright, I'll go ahead and start doing this mythos phase and see what this guy does to us. The manor howls gathering power for a new assault. Please, no. you got to be kidding me! What? Oh, no. More From health? within the heart of a bright gate, a screaming shade emerges to consume you. Spawn a ghost within the cave.
Come on, Barbie. You couldn't do 21 damage. Mm -hmm. All I made was no. I got this. Come on. Officer Mori laughs as another of the manners minions steps through this world, trailing the tatters of an elegant dress behind a spawn of thrall in the same space oh. that we were already in. This is red. And then the fire can spread too. The expensive tomes in the library spill everywhere as the room shifts to a new location beneath the library tile. Was there anything in there? No. It's more for like barricades and stuff, I think. Officer Mori begins to move but stops to stare at the wall. Officer Mori moves one space towards the investigator with the most clues. I have one. Yeah. I have two. So it stays with us. Okay. He takes a damage from the fire also. Okay, then he attacks the investigator in space with the lowest handshake. Minus two. Minus four. Okay. Three. That's not you anyway. Officer Mori kicks your legs out without even looking your way, except for two damage. The door indicates. Because you're so uninfluential. Get wrecked. <laughs> Officer Mori's legs start to sink into the earthen floor, and the manor soon devours him. Immediately, he reemerges behind the library shelves. What? Yeah, this is Mario Feltful. So he's over here now. The ghost moves up one space to be within range of as many investigators as possible. He would stay there. Um, then it attacks the investigator with the in the range of the highest strength, which is probably me. Yeah, I five. This guy has six health. The spirit stands above a spectral vision of your body, hacking it to pieces. Again, it yells, looking at you. Must we do this again? Handshake? What, we, what is this? <laughs> this is weird. I lose. I fail. The spirit is only more enraged by your attempts to calm it, and it resumes chopping you to pieces, except for two damage. Two damage, please. Dang. Hey, question. It, this one says roll one fewer dice while resolving a strength test. Is that in combat? Yep. Minor injury. Minor injury. Thrall, the other one, moves two spaces to the nearest investigator, stays there. He admitted attacks investigators with the lowest strength, so it attacks you earlier. Yeah. The hulking monster sweeps as you at you with its malformed claw. Strength two successes. Oh, I never used my mesmerized thing. Come on, Ruby. Let's do it now. Alright, um, I'm gonna use that. Well, to... figure out if you can have these clues. Right, yeah. Okay. Dead weight. These things are so heavy, they're weighing you down. You must rid of them immediately. So the one face down horror unless you drop an item and throw the dark with it on bed. Um Drop the bandages. They're not using them. No, I wouldn't because I think me and you need to move for you. Yeah, I feel like that'd be useful. This only really is a plus. Yeah. Probably not gonna come up with okay. okay. All right, so now you you've passed, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay, if you pass, you dodge away from its swing. Okay. Each investigator resolves a horror check against the monster within range of the highest horror rating. Which one is that? One say it's the one. No, it's the bottom bottom right number. Okay, so it goes to five. Dang. And it's, leave it four. Okay, so he's not in range of any of us anyway, so it's just a ghost for all of us. Okay. The spirit glides into the open, and you see for the first time that its legs are nearly fleshless. It begins to scream, kicking at invisible assailants, and you feel a small nip on the sole of your foot. Agility, two successes. Okay, I'll go. Okay. Nice. Dang. Alright, All right, Worthy, your legs are engulfed in gnashing pain, except for one face down damage and two horror. Oh. Okay, so I still have one. 
Face up. Face up. Oh, okay. I can see that. Claustrophobia. It's too close in here, too tight, you cannot breathe unless you to open air. Keep face up. Whenever you end up, end your turn within range of two or fewer spaces, suffer one face down horror. Alright, I think I'm good. And minor shock. Hey, Warby, I need a random item from you. Okay. My kleptomania. Oh, um. The random. Have to oh, shock. and I have to suffer. Or I have to flip a horror face up. Because I ended my turn next So I can't pick? Nope. Mm. Minor shock. My other one. So, does that include the keys? Yes. No. Or, uh, just it says item. Okay. So. Here, I'll just blind pick. Okay. This one. Bandages. <laughs> Alright, that was what I wanted to give you. Boom! Alright. We're done. Done? Done. Let's go kill this guy, Wordy. Alright, I'm moving. I'm taking, or I'm moving, so I'm not taking fire damage. So I'm going one, two. You and I'm going to evade. Yeah, I do. You're right. What is that? The thrall. And you don't have to be in the same space as him, right? Because you're a shotgun? I have to be out in the doorway. Uh, yeah. You hear a voice calling your name. Observation. One success. Need another one. Boom. Mm -hmm. If you pass, the voice fills you with dread. Suffer one face down horror. What happened if you failed? I become mesmerized. I'd rather have that. <laughs> I need a face down horror. I'm about to go insane. What do you have to do? Five. Yeah, All right. No, it's good though. I'm about to go murder this guy though. Alright. Single handedly do six damage to it at least. Officer Mori, get out of my face. I'm attacking you with my firearm. You drop to one knee, take aim, and fire. Agility. Two successes. If you pass, suffer damage equal to weapons damage. Six, so he's at nine now. Nice. Out of twenty-one. Yeah. All right, that's my turn. So what are these two health? Six and six. Because you might poison this by one of them when you like stack. I say go for it. Try to do the one that on um, affects on me. If you kill it, then I can. Well, you don't have to kill it, but you can help kill it, and then maybe I can. Oh, actually, I think I do take a damage because I started my turn in the fire. So it's better than me a damage card. Alright, Worry. Are you or Michelle can go first. Okay, so let's do the one in the room space. Okay. Okay, it's your it's a spell, right? Yep. Uh, you bring the heels of your palms together and draw them back, a ball of glowing energy coalescing in your hands. You speak the words to power the curse, lore, two successes. Nice. If you pass, you thrust your hands forward and energy streams from them. <laughs> the monster suffers damage equal to the spell's damage plus your test result. Ooh. Then move the monster one space away from you. If you fail, you stutter while speaking the incantation. Okay. So that was five damage. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I don't, I, don't, I don't have a clue. I don't want to get this covered up. Yeah, that's okay. Uh, you got it. Okay, so five. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, you have to push it one space away from you. Ah. I would move it in the corner because then it'll clear it from Morby. So he doesn't have to do the bait again. This one? Yeah. Although I guess technically that's not really away from you. I think there's... Not, there's no... I mean... There's really, uh, I guess technically this is away from you. Yeah, that's the furthest away. So, it doesn't matter though, Morby. Right. Oh, wait, wait, then wait, wait, flip, was... flip the spell you attacked with. The gas clings to your enemy's skin, causing it to bubble and blister. The monster suffers one additional oh! <laughs> Then discard this card and gain another person. Okay, so he's dead. Oops, that was... Yeah. Yep. Okay, that was just one action turn, right? Because I didn't move. So, um... Can I do this one time again? 
Yeah. All right, you focus your will and pour everything into your shouting, uh, into shouting your incantation. Will plus one. It's only going to equal your test result. So one. Yeah. Then play. <laughs> Maybe it'll be do initial five damage. Murder this guy. Um, <laughs> the thought form the hungry face that hunts near enemies. Suffer. One horror, unfortunately it's face up, so it could be in there. Then each other monster in your space or an adjacent space suffers two damage. Then discard. Dang, this. come on. There's that. nothing adjacent to it. No, there's a code to it. Oh, adjacent. so it does take two? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I thought I was saying other monsters only. It's okay, not great, so but... I'm suffering one. Okay, that's, that's six returns. Nice. Okay. Me too. We're all one away. Oh, okay. We're all about to go insane. Yep. So we're done? Mm -hmm. Alright, Officer Moore, are you going to kill us? Is that the plan? Bring it. The portal blazes even brighter, emitting a shrill whine that gradually rises in pitch. You notice that its edges are glowing, taking over more of the room. Officer Mori begins a slow chant, calling forth a terrible beast from beyond spall. A hunting horror is indicated. Joy! A what? A what? A what, a what? It's a hunting horror. Okay. It's one is of one these. of these yogs off? No, I don't think so. That's like literally one of the things you fight in Eldritch. Mm -hmm. It's like the actual god. It's one of these. What's the brain thing? No clue. It's one of the expansions, but I don't remember what it was. Okay, so he's in here. Oh, wait, no, he's up at the top. The chant grows louder, pressing against your every nerve. Spawn a goat spawn in the stairway. I can just do one. Wait a minute. Did Wordy go? No, I didn't. It's like, you're still in this room. Were you supposed to be attacking this guy with me? I was supposed to be doing something at least. You were supposed to definitely. We'll do that first. Don't worry. You were not going to kill him. No, I wasn't. Okay, we need to find a goat spawn. I think it's this. Yeah, I got it. I'm not even going to put the miniature on it. I'm just going to put Goat Spawn in the base. Remember when we were winning? Those were, those were the days. We really messed up by not going into the ballroom with Mage Function Mori. I think. And then just not going to the... Well, yeah. Going to the final door. Building into a crescendo of devotion, Officer Mori draws one last monster from the void, spawning a hunting horror. Okay. Does that mean like it's actually done? Like there's no more coming, right? Aww. <laughs> that looks gigantic. It's just one of those. Oh, okay. And the library's over on the other side. I mean, it doesn't actually matter that much. But it's... I guess if you barricade it. The Smith has been affects the investigator with the most items. Does that mean now? Uh, I have a uh, bunch. Well, I have one spell, so, yeah. Four. When you brush carelessly against the wall, it becomes gelatinous and tries to suck you in. Oh. Your agility plus one. Yeah, five. I have to get three successes. I'm losing some items, guys. It's gonna be my shotgun. Oh no. We need the shotgun. Oh. Wait, 
I need three successes. Yep. Alright. If you fail, the manor reclaims them. Which, okay, it just says discard a common item. I'm getting rid of the uh, terrace and lantern. Oh, apparently you can attack unarmed. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Go for the that was off Mori. Officer Mori seems to compress beneath. Wait, the <laughs> the manor seems to compress beneath Officer Mori, making his strides unnaturally long. Officer Mori moves three spaces towards the investigator with the most clues, which was me. I did one. I did two. But yeah, so you. Okay. Well, in theory, I'm going to be in the same space as you because yeah. I'm also attacked. Him okay, he's third. attacking us. It's attacking both of us with the highest lore. So I have, I have three. three. So it's tagging either of us. I have not yet taken any damage. I would say you, yes, since you're not there. Okay. Officer Moria hails a flurry of, spite, of strikes down on you, suffer three damage, strength plus one. You get one more roll on here. Okay, so taking one face down damage, or one face up damage. Minor injury. Okay. Officer Mori's legs start to sink into the earthen floor. He merges. Okay, he's in the nearest space in the library. He's already in the library. Okay, the ghost moves one space to within range as many investigators as possible. So he moves to the space. He would move here Where then. Although he's still not in range of me and you, then where he could run the library. So wouldn't he just. Yeah, I think so. You can put it back if you want. No investigators in this. Well, it says... Okay, within range, with the highest strength. So it's attacking you, Michelle. The spirit stands above a spectral vision of your body, hacking it to pieces. Oh, it's the same thing. So, handshake test. Wait, here's your things. If you pass... Uh, oh, wait, nothing happens. You need to pass. Okay. Handshake test. You needed to. Oh. The spirit is only more enraged by your attempts to common and resumes chopping you to pieces except for two damage. Painful clarity. Dissolve immediately. Okay, when the pain cuts through your muddled thoughts, allowing you to see the solution clearly, gain one clue, then flip this card face down. That was nice. And flip the die. A second time. <laughs> Grievous injury. Suffer so one additional oh, face down damage, then flip this card. So face I'm down, yep. One away from dying. We're gonna win, don't worry. Get those. Okay, oh I lied, you're dead. The hunting horror moves three spaces toward the investigator within range with the lowest strength. So which, which one is it? Horror, this one? That one or the or this one? a great question. We should mark them. Which one did I spawn first? The one in the library. Then it's that one that's first. Okay. So three, so it boosts to us where we, or no, it says to be within range of the person with the lowest strength, so it can move past us. Who has the lowest strength? I have five. Mm -hmm. so I tried. Are you? Yeah. Okay, so you should probably take it then, right? Yeah. Wait, okay. can you stand there with your buffer? That's true. Okay, so it's attacking you, Worvy. After swooping down, or swooping around your head in bewildering patterns, the creature lashes out with a series of stinger-tipped tails. Suffer three face-down damage. Agility plus one negates. All right. Don't suffer any damage. Why? Just don't. Okay. Um, is it worth it for me to use? The uh, okay, so if you're if you suffer one or more damage, you become dazed. If you suffer two or more damage, you become stunned. All right, I'm gonna do. Stun card. No dazed. Just no, dazed. Yeah, yeah, the dazed card. You're right. You cannot stand clues in verbatim or for one additional level set. Okay. Goat spawn is the this thing. Moves two spaces to be within range of as many investigators as possible. So he's just going to move one space towards Michelle. Oh, wait a minute. This one's where we right. That's me. Yeah. I'm just going to move you here. Yeah. Okay, so he'll just move. He'll move here. He's a smart guy. 
move into the spot with the fire. Yeah. That's very intelligent. Okay, it's attacking you, Michelle. The creature tilts its chin to bleat an un an ululating song. With a strange melody, your inhib inhibitions and sanity briefly leave you. Will, one success. If you pass, your senses return. Okay, you're good. If I get killed by a goat song, we pretty bummed. Yeah. Boom. <laughs> Alright. And then, okay, so the other hunting horror is red. I'm gonna put this on the here. You wanna put that on the giant base? One of those spots. Alright. The hunting horror moves three spaces towards the investigator within range with the low strength, so it stays there. It couldn't attack me, right? Yeah, within range. No, it moves three spaces, so yeah, it can move into our space then, Ruby. Alright. Bring it on. After swooping, same thing. Suffer three face down damage. Ability plus one. Okay. That's the one damage. Do I get phased again? You can't. It's right, just cool. the same thing, though. But take the one damage. Face down. Will it face down? Face down. Horror check. It really bothers me that we have to go through all this just to go back in time to do worthy attacking yeah, like that. Um, what are their horror ratings? I think it's these haunting horrors, right? Yeah, they have six. Okay, so... It's, for me and Worby is this one. The thing rises as if in agony, its jaws opening further and further until its mouth cracks and creatures tear, and the creature tears in half, revealing a slimy, squirming new monster within. So for three horror, will plus one negates. Okay. Okay. Wow. Nice. Yeah, cool. Okay, I need to save. No, no, I only have five. Nice. nice. Alright, All right, so Michelle's is... The ghost? The goat? Ghost. That's right. Alright, the hungry spirit demands your attention. Suffer three face down horror. Handshake negates. What's with the ghost and... Wanting handshake all the time. You have to get three successes in order to not go insane. But hey, at least you haven't already gone insane, so That's you good. won't immediately lose. Oh, what do you know? You didn't Shocking! <laughs> go find your. Just get rid of them all. Find your insanity thing. Alright, we're so, done. Okay, is it just called insanity? Yeah. Worthy. Do your attack. So don't you also get more insanity, though? I don't think so. I think you just you're what you wipe the board. That's you're thinking of the damage one. It's different. It doesn't like completely stack though since you got more than that or not. I don't think so. Alright, we're fine. I don't think it matters which way this works. Just keep going. Alright, okay. where are So I'm attacking this guy from last turn with yeah. my chain of blade. As you approach, your foe lashes out at you. You sidestep and strike and slash at the outstretched limb. Agility, two successes. Yeah, I've switched back agility. Uh, okay, I can actually... Well, what's... What would this be? If I succeed? Oh, actually, you I have to pass. Once anyways, yeah. Alright, so two successes. Okay, the monster suffers damage equal to the weapon's damage plus your test result. Okay, so five. Is that fourteen? Alright, so that was my last turn. Okay. You gonna get you wanna go first or you want me to go first? Um, how much does he have left? Uh ten? Nope. Uh seven. seven. Worthy. I got this. Alright. Alright. Show you guys this one. Actually, is it better for you to go first? Because I might be able to do six damage. You to can like monsters. one shot some people. Um, yeah, I'll go. Hold on, I can. The hunt. Okay, so the hunting horrors have eight. Mm -hmm. okay. Goat spawn is eight. It's only the ghost. That is the six. ghost is six. All right, so it doesn't really matter. But I mean, I can move to the ghost and kill it. That's what's Wait, like. Didn't I do some damage to the ghost? I don't think so. Did you? Oh, I don't wow. remember. You might have done a little bit. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. it has three already. Okay, okay. Three. so yeah, I'll just go first. I'll see if I can kill off the Well, it's more like. It's more like if you kill it, then I can 
or if, even if you don't kill it, I can finish it in maybe one action and then use the second one to do some yeah. damage to another monster. Yeah. Alright. Come on, Pervy. You've got this. I just need to somehow get two successes. Are you ready for this bladed weapon attack? Yeah. With my agility. No, it's strength this time. Alright, that's a little bit. Your better. opponent catches your wrist, the, your blade stopped mere inches from its flesh. You struggle to press the blade home strength, two successes. Okay, got it. Uh, it does damage equal to your test result plus one. So three. Okay. Alright, then you're going again? Yeah. Alright, Worvy. Is this the same thing? Okay, it's strength, two successes. No, this one's different, but... Nice! nice. Okay. Uh, damage equal to the weapon's damage plus your test result. Uh, five. I got it. Boom! Get out of here! The monster who is Officer Mori crumples, shrinking back to human proportions. The manor moans at the loss of its, ser as a, as a, as a, of its servant, and the screams of dying thralls echo through the shifting corridors. You manage to escape, busting out of the collapsing manor, manor into a startlingly quiet night. Does that mean we, we win? That's it? We're not, we, we're not living out our lives? No, we are profession. done. Unnatural concept. For a time, the disappearance of Officer Mori is reported upon until the next missing person case takes over the headlines. <laughs> you have greater worries, however. Shadows fall in the alley at night. Strangers stand outside your window for hours at a time. More and more gaps appear in your memory. And you awaken with your feet covered in mud, unsure of what you've done. It is almost a relief when you take on a new case. A mystery at a place called Silverwood Manor, you have a vague idea that no. may mean something to you, but cannot remember why. That's it. It's literally, we just went crazy. <laughs> It's the uh, it's the bad ending, you know, when you like in yeah. video games where you have like the good ending if you do all the side quests and stuff. Michelle, did you win? I did. I just had to have a spell. Nice. That was the one I had. It. <laughs> <laughs> Easy. We all win the game. <laughs> we all won. We all survived the game. <laughs> Until we went back into Silver Bear and died again. So that means we could next time we play, we could do.